Hi, Luxies. Welcome back to the Luxury Live Show. And of course, I'm with my gorgeous co-host, Kat L, and I'm your other co-host, Amy. Um, so we are... <laughs> It's a little bit confusing today. So anyway, today was supposed to be, uh, well, it was planned to be with an episode with Jerusha. And she said she's coming, so she, she might just be trying to figure out or running late. I'm not sure what it is, but we, <laughs> we're still going to cover a topic regardless. I, we had that as a backup anyway. And when she joins us, then we'll switch to doing the interview style with her since she's a first time guest. So whenever she pops up, <laughs> then we'll just go for it. Um, and yeah, she's a busy, busy, busy lady. So it's, busy, uh, yeah. yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, and I also have another announcement, which is that um, Kat has a little bit of a... Um, uh, thing to do around just around 15 minutes before our usual end time so she will just tell us like oh. she has to leave at that time because I may forget and yeah. uh, don't be alarmed about that okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll just, I'll so just, just start okay, off guys, with I gotta go mom. yeah yeah I better set my alarm because I've got yeah, yeah. something on so let me do that yeah 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 so instead of the usual two hours it's it might be we might end it a little earlier today um but it's not that much earlier it's just 15 minutes earlier so we'll start off with the lv topic since that's what we had back up and when jerusha joins we'll do the jerusha thing <laughs> okay as usual, if you guys have comments or questions for us uh then please like type question marks in front. It's just so much easier for us to see. And we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with some of the picks that Kat chose. Okay, so yeah, thanks. This picture is just so pretty. With the whole Barbie movie that's going on right now, I think I'm in a bit of a pastel, like cute, pretty face. And I've always liked the Alma, a few, Wow, was it a year ago? I was all crazy about the green Elma. I was seriously super close to buying it, and I stopped myself. Then you know, it's it's a it's a design that I I like. It's very classic. Um, Hermes has their bolide. It's one of those easy going small mini bags that just goes with almost everything. You can wear it casually. You can bring it for dinner. Take away this guitar strap. I just think these colors are so pretty. If you are into pastel, you would there there's a color for you right now. There are this beautiful like almost turquoise blue green, then there's this really periwinkle blue which is so pretty and it's cool tones. So it's not yeah. you know it's not like too childish or kitty is actually quite sophisticated. I, I love a periwinkle blue. It's one of those blues that I can like, yeah, I can get along with you because it's got that grayness to it. And then this pink, it's not a super Barbie pink. It reminds me of mauve pale, in fact. Oh, maybe like mauve sil Yeah, more mauve pale. Mauve Sylvester, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's got that, you know, tone to it. So if you're looking for a Elma and you're okay with the guitar strap, in fact, this guitar strap's, they're not so loud because of the pastel as well. I, I actually think it's pretty. What do you think? Yeah, I I mean I've I think the Alma is such a classic. I've always liked it. I think it it's sort of like that love hate relationship, right? Like it's it's sort of like a bag that is so classic sometimes because you see it all the time. You're like, oh yeah, it's always around, so you delay buying it. But then it's. You can't go wrong with it. So the fact that they're doing more colors um, just means that this bag is still very popular. It means one thing. It means exactly that. And I like that they're doing more colors. It's very fun. Okay, thank you. Next one. Okay, so this is, I don't, there's something really attractive about a bucket bag. And I've always actually liked the no, neo noe design it is a well it's not new i mean ever since they had the like the petite noe the original um design which is drawstring this is all like the modern version of it 
And over the years, it's just taken off because some of them have handles with the BB size. But this time, this launch, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's the whole black with cream uh, colorway that makes this bag just look so, so pleasing to the eyes. And I don't mind it. I don't actually mind this, uh, even though it's material. Okay, so it's material. Uh, I think it's cotton, which is not the best for in terms of actual usage. But for a bag, it looks so good. And then if you say, oh, you know what? I don't want the LV monogram to be too loud. They even did it in a white and cream colorway. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So, so pretty. I think you, you should just get a Noe bag because you keep talking. I know. <laughs> I know. I should just buy it. Okay, that's it. I'm buying it. Okay. Just wait for me to get one. It'll be an unboxing soon. <laughs> What I like about this one is that they, again, they're just, I guess LV is what works. They just make it in different iterations, so different designs, uh, but same bag. So I like that this one resembles like a raffia bag. It gives me mm -hmm. that summer, spring vibe, something that you take it to a picnic, to the beach maybe. And yeah, it's a good vibe. It's so summery. I mean, this is yeah. a summer. I'm not sure if this is a summer collection, but it's, it just screams summer, it screams casual, a nice bucket bag that you know, can dump everything inside. I can just imagine you're walking down like the beach side, you've got this bag, you've got a hat, you've got your sunnies. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah. It's always good to be able to just throw a jacket inside, like a little light cardigan, right? A jacket, a scarf, your sunglasses, instead of having to play Tetris. That's what's good about a, a good size bucket bag. And you still have the middle compartment, which you can store some of your valuables in it. So it's a, it's a really yeah. nice design. Okay. Okay. Oh. And then I had to pick this one as well. So <laughs> as I was saying, that, that, that particular version doesn't have a handle. But for some reason, they made this version with a handle. So it's not really consistent. <laughs> some designs have handles. Some designs have, mm -hmm. don't have handles. I think with the handle, it makes such a big difference. So when I got my Petite Noe, I actually bought an extra handle for it. And it just like, wow, made the bag so different because you can, can hand carry it while you put it on your shoulder. This, I love. I don't like the price. So I was, I don't know for why, what for what, why I was scrolling in the LV website on the Malaysian pricing. But this works out to be about four, oh, let me just quick check on that. About 4,000, 4,000 of a dollars which is quite a bit. However, it is a full leather bag. It is the Emprunt leather. And, uh, you know, my brain says, no, cat, because it's cream color. It's a big bag. But it actually looks so delicious, so good. Look at that model. She's carrying it. It just looks so sophisticated. I think it actually looks elegant for such a casual bag. Oh, Maybe I should just get it. That's it. Have you seen this in person? I have not. So oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I should. But Alpart leather is always nice. So it's it's probably one of my favorite leathers that they make. Yeah, I love this. They, you know, the funny thing is, I they come in two colors. So it comes in huh. black as well. Yeah. But the for some reason they didn't make it full black with gold. They made it like black, and the handle has like some red trimming on it, oh. which I thought, you know it would have been just so much more like classic straightforward yeah. if it's a pure black pure black gold hardware so i'm not sure what was the design thinking behind that but yeah i i actually like the cream color very very much mm, i guess this cream color one you can see the trim is actually black but it blends in so you don't think of it as a different color yeah, it's cohesive. Yeah. So the other one, yeah. the trim is red or something like It's like, I was like, oh, wait, why is the handle like, it's got an extra color to it. Yeah. So, like, mm, nah. I, see. I think this is one that you have to really try it on to really know. Because between this, which technically, yeah, you can buy your own strap to like put a handle on it. Um, but yeah, this one, you probably have to try it on just because it's so much more expensive too. It is significantly it's yeah. like twelve. It's nice though. Yeah, it it's a very nice bag. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so I picked this and you know what? I initially I didn't even pick this, but as I was, you know, making the slides and doing the presentation, then I came across the, you know how like when you browse their website, then you come across like the the beginning or maybe like the, just like the intro, the intro page. And then this model was there and she was holding this bag this way. And I'm like, hold on a minute. It looks so much nicer when she holds it this way. <laughs> um, also because there's something about the fact that um, like the lock and there was like the clochette and then maybe also just the reflection of the light on the on point leather, it just makes it look so much better. So, so then I started clicking on this bag too and I had to add it to the slides because I was like, okay. It was like, it didn't wow me at first when I was just browsing the items. But then the more I look at it, the, the more I can understand that this bag can be super functional. Even the name says it, Sack Spa, which is more sporty, you know, it has a vibe. Uh, but it's it's a really good size, mm. you know, instead of your Prada crystal, which is quite, it's actually quite limiting. It's a good size, but it's still quite limiting. Like this one is really the good size. And you get all the luxury of the nicer hardware, like it's that really golden, shiny hardware, nicer zipper pull, the, you know, the works, right? With the clochette and everything and a little lock pad, uh, pad lock as well. And yeah, it's microfiber line. So yeah, it's a steeper price, but considering they are putting a lot of detail in it, even though the design initially at first sight, it was simple, but I can mm. appreciate it after after seeing the model. <laughs> yeah, I actually, the more you, it's like the more I look at it with the model, yeah. the more I, I like it. It's, it grows it on you. <laughs> yeah, it grows on you. It makes, I mean, yeah. I guess when we look at the model carrying the bag, we sort of like, oh, okay, that's what it will look like carried, um, puffed up. Obviously, not all the time, but it gives yeah. you an idea. So now that I'm looking at it, yeah, I think it can work because I can sort of visualize if I'm carrying it on my shoulder, I'm holding it, you know, I'm uh, lengthening the strap. And that's how it look like bulging with my things yeah. inside. So I think this is a good representation of how a, like how a bag would look like, you know? Like sometimes, yeah. when, sometimes when they do this model, like the model holding the bag, and it just looks so prim and proper, you go like, no, that's not possible. This one actually looks like, oh, okay, the bulge will look like this, you know? And like, yeah, you get, you get a better idea. So good job, LV, on this model picture. Yeah, and you know what? Like LV is known for... It's practicality, really, right? Like, especially when I think of LV, I think of their canvas mainly. Obviously, their leather line has really expanded and it's beautiful as well. But you want your LV bags to be practical. So, yeah, you want them to look good, but you really want them to be practical. And I feel like this is a job well done. So whoever has yeah. this, I feel like this one should be a popular bag. So whoever has this, let, let us know how you feel about it. Because I'm going to take a question because since we're passing the slides. Yeah, go ahead. I see one from Vivi is asking about the Petite Noe. So she's considering um, buying the Noe line too. Love a bucket style. Which size do you like the most? Thank you. Mm. There are two sizes I like the most. I like the BB size and yes. I like the, the one that I have, which is the Petite size. Because there's one, I think there's one more that's larger. Yeah, but it's yeah, tall I think as well. One. Yeah, so I don't like the Nano size. Like to me, the Nano is great and cute, but it's... It's like when I think bucket bag, I think a bucket. <laughs> like I wanna, I wanna put my things inside. So if I feel like it overwhelms me, like that's just way too big, then I go for the BB. But the BB is decent because it's bucket, right? It's round mm. like a bucket, so you can actually put quite a bit of things inside. Uh, it's sort of like what you how you like your mini Lindy, because it's mm -hmm. small, but the way the shape is, you can put a lot of things. So I feel like that's kind of comparable. Then the MM size, which is the one that, oh, not sorry, not MM, like the petite size, the one size up, that's great because it's it's like a proper bucket, right? You can really put your shawl and, and all that inside. So those are the two sizes. I would think of what I want to use the bag for and um, and whether it suits my, my me because bucket bags would be, I mean, the bucket, right? They're big. Where you, if you're okay with, you know, something that like juts out a bit more, then I think that's fine as well. But if you feel like, oh no, it's overwhelming my frame, I feel a bit uncomfortable carrying it, then I think the BB is better. Because I see a lot of girls in Singapore carrying the BB and it's like, oh my God, it's cute. 
yeah. but I don't need another small bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree with whatever you said. I feel like for that particular bag, I wouldn't go nano only because with nano bags, you kind of want. Yeah, it, there's a cute factor with the nano as well, but like there's something about. Being open, that it's so easy. Like your phone can fall out so easily. So mm -hmm. for a nano mm -hmm. bag, I'd rather if it's more closed or has more of a security feature. So yeah, the two the two sizes you mentioned are just the most practical because the one the really large size that's just too large. I think even even though we're back to big bags, but it's I think considering your own lifestyle should be the number one question and then and then go with something practical um yeah plus the prices are not that much different really between between like that and the larger one but that sometimes can deter you from like going the more practical size which is exactly. sometimes lightness is a practical thing too right like being too heavy is actually a cumbersome thing Mm -hmm. um, even though you're only paying maybe a couple hundred more or something like that. I mean, I don't remember the prices right now, but yeah. Okay, next. I had to pick this one because it was all the rage on Instagram. <gasps> and of course, the moment I saw this bag, like literally the moment that they, they were announcing, like someone leaked it. I think it, it must have been Foxy LV because she always is the best 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 resources in terms of like early early preview um i i was already sending remember i even sent it to you i'm like oh my gosh this is so cute <laughs> oh, maybe this is my belt bag because the belt bag has sort of never really worked for me like you know they had the, oh the the bigger bum bag before and it was all the rage even i liked it but when i tried it i'm like oh but it's like kind of overwhelming my body i'm like oh man i wish it worked but I think this version, however, is so universal. So, like, even a guy can pull it off. This, this is why I put a picture of a guy. I think it's a guy. Anyway, <laughs> I think this is the perfect size. I love that it has two different chains. So you can even just use the, like, the metal chain as more like an evening bag. Even though it's a bum bag, who cares? Like, it's something fun and it has a good capacity. Like, this is good enough to... Put your larger size phone in it obviously it's not going to have a ton more space after that but it's also well done it has microfiber lining and all the bells and whistles i'm i'm just like so impressed i'm like lv well done <laughs> i don't i don't want to burst your excitement but i don't like this <laughs> no how come i really like it i, I really oh really God. like it me and my okay i have you know as you know i have a i have a very Odd imagination, but yeah, I don't want to. Oh spoil my it. goodness! What are you I'm imagining good... now? What is it that this <laughs> looks like? What does it look? Like? <laughs> I know I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, but I'll fo I'll forward it to you. I'll forward it to you. I'll send it to you. Okay. Because is it a page actually... note or something? I don't. I can't see no, anything. No, no, it's not. It's not as bad, but it's just that okay. you know when I when I saw it, I was like, oh man, it kind of looks and like your a... imagination. It's dangerous. <laughs> And the thing is, like, a lot of people will see it and then they'll be like, oh, now I don't like it. But that's... Yeah. <laughs> no, this bag is cute. I mean, who agrees okay, okay. with you? This bag is cute. I mean, I mean, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're... Can, you see, can, can you see your message? Can you see your message? I sent it to uh, you on, well, uh, on the... Let me, let me just get out. You mean my... On your site, I, yeah. I can see my Instagram messages since since I have. All right, mine. I'll send it to your Instagram. But in any case, <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, okay. Firstly, the more I see it on on uh, people, I'm starting to be okay. But the first time I saw it, I was like, Oh my that? god, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, you can't it even does. see it. I don't care. <laughs> it does. It kind of no, how it does. It looks like a toilet, the toilet bowl. You know that container. You know on the top of your toilet bowl that the the sink, the one that contains the water. Anything can look like a toilet container. Then I mean, anything that has a shape that is like rectangular, so whatever. But it Come even on, has the cover no, on the weak. top. It has a cover on the top. This is too weak. <laughs> <laughs> like usually i'm like okay i'll give it to you i'll give it to you but like no this one's too weak no 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 cat <laughs> doesn't pass okay i was like wait no, a minute it kind of looks familiar really, right? what kind of what kind of household appliances does that look like that looks like a toilet <laughs> <laughs> no 
No, 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 no. It no, does. No. I even did a side by side comparison. But, well, you know what? <laughs> then you don't buy you. You shouldn't buy it then, and that's yeah. totally fine. <laughs> No, but then okay, but that's because I just saw the picture. So just the, let's mm -hmm. say I I see the top left. I'm like, oh, it kind of looks like my. Okay, but then after that, when I see people dress it up, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, okay, it kind of looks different now because on the person, obviously, it looks different. But the first picture just was like, no. When I when I saw it on Foxy LV, I was like, no. What? But, but the but the styling's okay. The styling's okay. The styling's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure, <laughs> but I don't agree anyway. Um. So anyway, I like this bag, and I saw a few people get it already. Um. I also checked my website, the Canadian website. It was sold out already. And it was also not available wow. in store. So I can't even check it out in person. But anyway, it looked really cute. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. Um, ah, I saw this. Yes. yes. So Speedy 20, right? The Speedy B20. Because, you know, people were all the rage about the Speedy B25 before. And then the Speedy B20 came out. But only in monogram. So now, and I'm sure people have been asking. Now they have it in Damier Ben. Which is like, guys, this is probably the more perfect one. If you don't like a patina. And you also like just maybe a more kind of like. I don't know if it's subdued pattern, but it's just more, you know, your 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 Damier Ben. So yeah, cute, yeah. cute. This one is cute. I mean, anything small is cute, and the yeah. Speedy Twenty is such a good size. So when I, I don't know who I saw it on. I, I saw somebody on IG carry it, try it in store, and I I, I was mm. like, oh, this is new. Yeah, this is new. I love it. Yeah, so. Here's the pickle, right? Like if you have the <laughs> if you have the monogram and you've always wanted a dummy event, do you buy both? <laughs> or do you just sell it and buy it? I mean, that's what they do to you sometimes, right? Like they just delay the the different patterns so that you don't have a choice and buy the first one and then you might have to end up buying both. But oh, um... I think you'll get both. Um, they, they look so different. Yeah? One, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit like buying, I don't know, different colors of the same bag, right? I guess so. Yeah, if you like the bag enough, yeah. Mm, if you like the bag enough and you find that you, you want something that's for a maybe brighter day, you know, a day like this today is pretty hot. But if it's yeah. a rainy day, you still like the bag, you carry something that's more yeah. waterproof. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, those who didn't know, it's out there now. It's getting really expensive. <laughs> really expensive. Yeah, this is before really tax. So it's very expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be well over $3,000 after tax. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, next. Okay, so I had to talk about this one. Not that I loved it, loved it, but I just felt like I had to talk about this one because I think I even got some questions about this one. So this is the Porchette Mitzis. And instead of the square... Is that me? Is that my internet? Or is that Amy's internet? Is that me? Is that me? <laughs> is it me? Is it me? Or is that Amy? Can anybody see me do this? Okay. <laughs> Had micro fiber like, lining, like, which, whereas now they only do fabric lining, so that's a bit disappointing. Um, and of course, they increase the price by a lot. So, Amy, you're frozen. What you're frozen? You're oh my god, I have to take a photo. That's it, I have to take a photo of that because she's like pointing <laughs> fingers at us. <laughs> I'm frozen. <laughs> You're frozen and you're 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 pointing two fingers at us. Okay, <laughs> wait. Let me see if I can fix that. What is happening today? <laughs> I have to say okay. this. I'm so mean. I'm such a mean host. It's kind of funny. So this is my FaceTime camera. Let me go oh. back to my 
Okay, there. I think I'm back online. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 Too many tabs open. That's why. <laughs> probably, probably. Well, it's because I'm trying to, you know, make sure that once Jerusha joins, that I can see it, or if there's any messages. So I'm keeping some tabs open, you know. But yeah. um, okay, back to the presentation. Um. Yeah. What was I saying? The east. Yeah, I just felt like I, I had to show it just because it's an east-west design. Do I love it? Not necessarily. Do I hate it? Neither. Uh, I mean, the Porsche Mitsis is popular for a reason, the, the regular one. So they're just expanding the collection. I think what's nice about east-west is that, uh, and plus they added a chain, so it, it can be a more dressy bag. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's okay. I, I guess it's it's not bad. I like that they kept the the back pocket as well. And I wonder who bought this. Mm. I actually saw a girl um, walking by uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. And she had not the Unprot version, but the regular monogram East-West. This particular bag, but regular monogram. Mm -hmm. And I had to say, I, I, took a, I did a double take because I was like, wow. Mm different it's different and yeah. it just looks it, you know with the square version it can look quite casual big, casual and yeah. big as well right because yeah it's it's a lot it's like a square yeah. bag like like you're like a constant like it's big right yeah but the east west version even though it's like it was it was quite puffed like she stuffed it <laughs> she probably put yeah. her phone everything inside but it works i i actually yeah. thought wow it looks like a nice little baguette, like you know, like this. I was like, yeah, oh. with the gold chain that I think that's a gold chain, oh. like a little gold chain. Oh, oh. I hear, I oh. hear someone just joined us. Let's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's here. Someone is here, Jerusha. <laughs> I hear him. <laughs> I am here. Oh my goodness. Finally. <laughs> Yeah, it was you, running it, around it for, in the big screen. Oh my goodness, how was, are you, Jerusha? It was running around for a half an hour, or you would have had to deal with Captain America screaming. <laughs> you probably have still to deal will with him. Hi, girls! Oh my goodness, wow. we're so excited! Hi, you finally make it! Yay! Yay! No, you're super busy. <laughs> you're super super busy. So I know. Honestly, Amy, I apologize for. You know, back and forth in you. I think it was just because you girls are corporate and it's perfect now. And then I have, you know, two half size humans that I yeah. have to yeah. wait. But luckily, you know, mom's upstairs and oh, nice. Oh, it's so good to see. Oh my goodness, you're here! Yay! So we can Yay. we can get started with the interview portion. And of course, whoever like the audience here. They will have questions for you uh, as well. Yeah, many. you you sent me those original um yeah kind of well we will just go ask through. you them. Yeah. You don't uh, have to worry about looking at the questions. I mean, um you, you've got them all. Yeah, we've got them <laughs> all. We're always yeah. prepared. <laughs> we try anyway. Running. No, you are, you are. We were running around and I was like, try I'm like got to see what I'm going to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I might have well, to get coffee halfway through. Welcome to the Luxury Live Show, Jerusha. We're oh, so glad you made it. Um, and, yeah, let's just start with the questions that we had for you first. And then whenever okay. we see a question from the audience, we'll pull it in, do the okay, cool. kind of a mashup of everything. Perfect. So, okay, let's see. Which one should we ask you first? Um... Should That's also number four. Just, just before, no. have, have I got everything on this set up right? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah, you know I'm what? Good. Number four, okay, here, I'll just paste it, and then so that way I can Is just Is there anything I meant to look at or anything because... Yeah, here, can you no, see that? Nothing scrolls up for me. Is that right? Oh, no worries. I'll just read it to you. So question number four we had for you. So we'll just well, go I randomly. Can I not see anything? Um, you are like, you on your phone? 
No, no, I'm on my laptop with you guys. You're on your laptop? You don't see the screen? Uh, you don't see well, the... I, don't, I see you guys, but I thought, is there, like... You don't you see the pop-up of the text? Oh, the, do you see the comments on the right side? No. Ooh. That is strange. Oh, strange. Is it because it's saying... I've got the link, but it's saying... Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll have to okay. wait for her to join in. Join in. <laughs> yeah, Jerusha just joined back in the same link. Uh, well, oh, while we wait for her, if you have any questions, let's ask, like, uh, put a bunch of question marks and then we'll, we'll you know, it's really hard to get Jerusha, so I all know. your questions all come out, come out. Come, all right, she's back. Okay, she's back. She's back. All right, let's add her back. Okay. All right. I, I can't, like, there is the columns and stuff. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just pull them in. Oh, Do you not... Yes, okay. Sorry. You see it now? Yeah, it popped off. Okay, great. Okay, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so this is our question oh, for your you. Nails. Yes, sister. <laughs> Dave, on a budget. Honey. <laughs> it is a night. Yeah, those nails. <laughs> those Diva. nails. I know, I know. I don't know it's how a, because a... I... Well, I, I already have, like, my oh, nephew yeah. always asks me, he's like, yes. why are your nails so long? Cut them. And I'm like, this is, Show not, me. This no, is nothing. You've never, you natural. haven't seen nails, buddy. <laughs> Do they grow fast, Amy? Like, you, oh, yeah, mine does. Mine does. They're beautiful, though. Yeah. So you, mine, can, just, you can just put, like, a like a layer of gel or, like, a yeah. you know, like an SNS base, and that will harden them up. Like, you're so lucky. Right. These are... If I grew my natural nails too, they might be nice, but how do you oh. how do you work with those nails? I, I mean, no. I it, my nails are like, just <laughs> like, a dink, like, like a little dinky, and I'm like, I need my nail clipper because I cannot, I yeah. cannot have even a little bit. Yeah. How do you? Wow. If I had like even see your nail, like and Amy's nail, if I yeah. have that much of natural, nail, I will pick everything. Are you like a skin pick? Like, oh, because these can't, you'd think they can scratch. Oh. They, like, I can't pick, yeah. Oh. I can't pick myself and, like, you know, groom myself. Like, with, with real thin nails, I will just, if I ever have any acne oh. breakout, I would, yeah. These type of nails are blunt, so my my husband my husband's name's will and i will i will scratch we will be like scratch my back because <laughs> they're really <laughs> but yeah only thing with these nails is i don't know how you type because we work it's we right. both both cat and i are in the right. it industry yeah. so like we're typing all day long so yeah. we, i wouldn't be able to type my, my everybody asks that and what's so funny like showing you on my phone like i've said this before like you're your brain trains itself to like hit like hit that hit. side oh yeah to like hit, yeah and what's so it's funny like is this. when i don't have them like i'm growing out a few and that this one and this one is press-ons because i've got to grow them out they're damaged but when i don't have one on i hit do you understand like three keys at once does that make oh. sense so yeah, your yeah, brain yeah. almost trains it to hit on the side. So I don't even, I know, right? The, t the technical world of nails. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Ellie B. Hi, babe. Oh, my God. She's such a long time subscriber. Press on nails a lot. Oh, press yes. on nails a <laughs> But they are now because it's you can remove them. And honestly, the nail game, I mean, look, we can spend the whole life talking about, oh. the whole life <laughs> talking about nail game. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Huge. Do you know what's so funny? Here in Australia and especially, I'm not getting anywhere where I am. I'm like moving out of the camera. Especially where I live, it's not, it's not, you know, it's it's not what it is in the States. It's a whole, where am I going? Okay, it's a whole, <laughs> like, I'm moving the camera. It's, it's a whole culture over there. Like this is normal or even short compared to like I have some friends I have two other blogger friends from Houston uh -huh. and they've just got like sister like and and I really? have a technician 
from London. She's a nail technician and she does most phenomenal work. And she does work on a few of the um, like rapper girls over there. They're like, mm. epic, like yeah, they're like she's done Cardi B, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, wow. their nails. So she's done design for that. It is a huge industry. Like, really, it is. So when I'm here, everyone's like, oh, they're so long. And I'm like, this is nothing compared mm. to what I've done. Yeah. The, the, anyway, nail culture, right? Nail culture. Nail culture. <clears throat> that's, that's a good one. Uh, well, whenever I visit you, when I go back to Sydney to visit my friends, you have to bring oh, me yeah, to the so, nail salon. <laughs> yeah, so you told me about that. So is it just your friends or you have family? Don't you have family? Here uh, not family, it? but my best friend, uh, my best friend whom I met in a secondary school, in high school. Yeah. We became really, really, really good friends. I know her entire family, all her siblings. Um, I basically saw her little sister grow up because she was, she like, she's like her little sister is like 10 almost like i don't know how many years a lot a, a lot of years younger and so i basically okay. saw her grow up but oh. then all of a sudden in grade 10 in the middle of the year they immigrated the entire family immigrated to sydney they just and literally the the, i didn't have much notice they they told me like a week before they left Right, yeah. right. It was so traumatic because I'm like, <laughs> are you serious? Like, I'm about to lose my best friend wow. that I hang out all the time. Like, I sleep at their house and everything. Yeah. Um, Do you know so we so, kept in touch. Say, you know what's so funny? To be honest, the relationship between Canada and Australia is really strong. I think that's the English settlement side mm, of it. Yeah. But really strong like i have a lot of family in toronto i have sound family in vancouver wow. but yeah i've been to canada many many times i grew up sort of with my little nieces over there and sort of like do you know what i mean we're we're very um yeah connected in a way between australia and canada i know that's, that's really, interesting yeah yeah it's true it's really true i have a lot i have a lot of family mostly in toronto right and, uh, it's so beautiful and it's the beautiful thing is that like even though we don't speak on a daily basis and it's been well I want to say like two three uh oh well I'm not quite that old but like two and a half <laughs> decades that we haven't really like <laughs> I, I, I saw her at her wedding because I, I attended her wedding and then mm -hmm. she attended my wedding um but other than that like we don't speak on a daily basis but every time we reconnect it's just like yesterday and it's just so yes yeah, i love that that's real friendship yeah when you can pick up the phone and just like nothing's changed yeah yeah totally oh that's lovely that's so nice where in sydney is she uh paramata oh oh i know paramata i've been there i know like everyone knows paramata <laughs> I, I really love the area actually no it's gorgeous there's some really like out in the suburbs it's very suburb we would call that the suburbs oh, okay yeah, i live okay. on an area called the beaches like that's actually what we call it the northern beaches oh. yeah um question just technically wise is my is my t-shirt making lines really badly <laughs> is, that, <laughs> that, is that wavy is that tripping out or is that just me? It's it's kind it's of trippy a little bit. To say. <laughs> I'm going to my wardrobe. Please hold. Oh, yeah. like, oh, oh, look, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 It's a bit of a strip show. Sorry. You know what? Sorry, I'm we'll just going to start putting all the questions on the screen so that we can just show them because that yeah. way we yeah. can just have them one by one and then just start asking them that way i think this would be a good one to start like this is like youtube yeah. videos because jerusha you by did some way, videos shout out to jen from lnm if you guys shop lnm this is her cha cha t-shirt but it's stripy so that doesn't i work. thought it was um like a real chanel shirt oh, oh no i knew that was lnm uh, her, her, her designs are so cute if you want to send one to me Kath. <laughs> <laughs> okay so block color amy is what we need to know yeah, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter jerusha it doesn't matter 
black yeah, I did, shirt. Actually, I didn't even realize it. When she mentioned it, I was like, yeah, it's kind of trippy. It was like, it was like, lines. Well, I could only see like a little square. And then I looked at it and it tripped me out. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're good. Good. But I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my studio, so pretty Almost, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll start with this question. Amy yeah. can ask this question to Drew. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So we'll. Uh, Kat wanted to start with this question. What are yes. the types of YouTube videos that you have been loving watching li lately, and wow. the ones that you no longer are interested? Right. Great question. Great question. I have become obsessed with watching vlogs mm -hmm. now, and, and across the board. I mean. What's really odd about vlogs, topically, it can move from luxury YouTubers, and I'm have like I love watching their lives and integrating. I mean, that obviously interests me more, like because um, then they integrate their bags or they integrate houses that they're liking at the time or what they're shopping, um, like a shopping vlog, that kind of thing. Um, but for me, I feel like. Personally, in the last couple of months, I've stepped outside of the luxury community and started watching, you know, vlog vlogs, just like daily vlogs. So um, on my channel, personally, I've started weekly vlogging, which mm. um, I chose yeah, to do. Yeah, I cho how cool. I chose to start weekly vlogging, um, which is a real commitment, especially mm. to stay consistent. Mm. So that's the thing when people ask me, oh, my God, like how have you done YouTube so long um, and how do you stay in it, like stay fresh? And it's, that's probably the biggest question I get is how do you stay consistent? And I think when I, when I watch other vloggers and across the board, as I said, um, there's a couple of, as I said, there's a couple of Houston girls that I love and – you know, it's all the nail game and the zhuzh and they go to the club and they do all this sort of stuff. But I just like watching a different kind of lifestyle to me. And, yeah, so I feel like I've really gone into that vlog, vlogging, weekly vlogging vibe. And that is a huge change because if you look at my subscribers, my subscriber base is our community. And mm -hmm. it always has been our community. And I don't think I've really, I'm a creature of habit, so I don't think I've ventured in the 14 years, I don't think I've really ventured out of our community too much, like meaning do you watch reviews on technology or camera review? I mean, there's anything, right, food, there's anything on YouTube. So I think staying in our community has been a safe thing for me, but the last couple of months venturing out to life vlogs, so someone, you know, doing their laundry interests me. And I find it relaxing. It's weird. And a lot of my subbies say they find it relaxing to just watch my general life, you know. Hmm. I think so it's because – oh, go ahead. Yeah, that's all. I, and, it, uh, and I would probably say from basic vlogs, how I just said, like how I was saying some of my – the Houston girls I follow – I follow some of the, like, um, I don't know the area to say. I don't know if it's bad to say in America, but we call it, like Australians call it the Bible Bank. Is that the right way to say it? Like, What's that? Um, I don't know what <laughs> yeah, that is. Like South. South, is it? So, like, some of the mm. big family girls, like mm. Tara, things like that, where it's all, like, you know, they got like a whole gaggle of kids and, you know, they go to church. and I don't know how to say it. In like Australia, we'll say, you know, the Midwest and we say those oh, areas. Oh, okay, okay. Of America. Yep, yep. So I don't particularly know. If there's any subbies out there who know what to call, like I think it's. Joe's um, saying deep south, <laughs> like the deep south. Is it like yeah. countryside or? Yeah, no, yeah, like the deep south. Mm. I, I don't yeah. know why. I guess in a, in Malaysia or Singapore, we call it the kampung. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just that you know that kind of lifestyle. It's more traditional. Yeah, that's that's you know. why I say yeah. they, they, they go to church. 
Yeah, you know, they have fabulous kids. I, I think it's in their religion to procreate. And there's a lot of those girls that have based themselves on the Love. very traditional type. Yeah, absolutely. Very traditional. And but the thing is, it's such an immaculate little lifestyle. I love watching that. And then you have your, you know, luxury bloggers slash cinematic queens who just, right. you know, make the most amazing visual content, um, which is fantastic to watch. Um, what was I going to say? Who? Hang on. I'm just, I'm literally pulling up my subscriber list. Um, and there's some girls that I followed and have never unsubscribed. Like, what? Well, I don't actually unsubscribe because I don't really have time to. Do you guys unsubscribe? Um, I mean, sometimes I I subscribe maybe because I've seen like one video and then, but then the rest of the content was less relevant. Then I would unsubscribe, but not yeah. because, yeah, only because it's maybe on the feed and I'm like not. As interesting. You don't want to keep seeing on the feed. Yeah, I think I I've actually... done that. Yeah, I think I've done that once or twice, where or maybe even a mistake. Like one of my kids has subscribed to like Mr. Beast, and I don't want to see him a hundred times. <laughs> Mr. <ago>. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cinematic. They call like... it the Bible Belt. Oh, this is I've. This is something. This is like something I've learned. I... We call it the Bible Belt in the <laughs> US. Did I, Lee, didn't I just say that? Lee, Bible, the Bible belt. belt. I just said the Bible Belt. Like that's oh. how we would say it from Australia. Okay. Like Bible Belt, Midwest. Oh, okay, yeah. Like that, the South. I don't know. Like we, that's how we kind of hear the slang of it, I guess. But that's what I call all of those girls. And then flicking over to Britain, I'm just pulling up all my girls from there. Like obviously Lydia. So that's what I mean by cinematic. Mm, oh, she's yeah, yeah, her vlogs are really beautiful. I mean, that's just I mean, and that is just next level. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is just her and her husband Ali, they're so nice. I'm I'm good friends with Lydia just because she's been around so long as well. And they have a proper team. Like they have a whole tech team mm. and teams, you know, and that is some serious content that you've got to keep up and you gotta keep good. You know, because you have sponsorships that are huge, huge paying, you know, sponsorships where you got to make it look like, you know, a Bulgarian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not from the phone, not the phone, the phone like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like I pull out my phone, like they've got gimbals and shit, like, yeah. and, like drones and stuff. Just immaculate, immaculate content. Yeah. But that, that's another yeah, that's thing is you've got to realise that is some serious juice. Like they've got a whole team running that. So I enjoy that too. I just, I got to like sit down and be ready for that. And I think with little kids, sometimes you want instant gratification, instant gram. Mm. I mean, you want instant gratification in a, a video. So you want a short one. But for example, with my weekly vlogs that I, that I have started, as I said, some of the guys like, oh, my God, it was an hour, your last one. I loved it. And I was there like, wait, wasn't that, like, way too long? Like, I feel like, you know, I don't know if you girls do that with your videos, especially sit-down videos, is we kind of think, oh, my God, they're not going to want to watch this crap for longer than 15 minutes. Like, I know girls that keep it inside a bracket. So, mm. what about you Depends. Two? I think from, like, for me when I do my Q&As, Sometimes they're like so long, they're like 40 over mm. minutes. But what surprises me is that, I mean, obviously I don't get like a lot of views, but then they really sit down and watch the whole thing. And I'm like, wow, that's really long. So it depends, no. I guess. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what the thing is about views and mm. stuff like that? Is it, how do I put it? It's just... It's just visual. It's visually gratifying. Do you know what I mean? Mm, mm -hmm. So what you portray as, so millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views, and same with subscriber count or hundreds of thousands of subscribers, it's all a visual count. So, for example, you've got, you get, you know, 8,000 views on a video and you're like, oh, that's really low on this video. That's not like a well-performing video. 8,000 views. Like, 
how many people are in this chat? Like 40 people, 50 people? I can't see anything. Uh, there's 100 105 right now. 100 people. So, <laughs> like, that's the thing. That's what I say to, like, another friend who's thinking of starting YouTube. She's like, I won't get many people. I'm like, 100 people. Think of filling my studio with 100 people right now. Do you see what I mean? Like, I don't think we. Perspective. Res but. Yeah. A hundred, a hundred people in my house right now is a full on event. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think we the numbers, especially on YouTube, throw people badly, and and in a negative sense, like, oh, I won't get many views on that. I'm like, you get a thousand views, that's a thousand people. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just when you step back and go holy shit can i swear holy crap that's <laughs> that's good you know it's a I mean? it's it's a it's kind of like you know half full you know, half cup empty half cup full kind of perspective so you're looking at it like don't look at it from a negative perspective look at it like you got a hundred or a thousand of eight thousand people watching yeah, so. yeah it's okay there's three of us and it's not as if we have one person each. So it's not like three people are watching, like a hundred. And I think it, it, it's the, the, as you said, the thought of negative versus positive, but I think it's also the reality. Mm. The numbers are so high on, you know, TikTok. some YouTubers and we, you, you, that's the thing I was saying, the same girlfriend I was going, you've got to sit there and actually there's an entire, well, like a, like an underlay, like an underlying workings, right? So like an underlying current of especially YouTube, but these platforms, these instant platforms of Twitter and, you know, now threads and all this sort of stuff, this, this number game, but you've got to understand there's an underlying current that has to put this together. So as we said, Lydia, those type of views, those type of likes, subscribers, things like that, what it takes to get there, girls, like, do you see what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Beast, like millions and, and feeding kids and he's a philanthropist so he gives it all away, all this stuff. His team alone, you know, and that's not even the tech. That's not even being endorsed to buy a Lamborghini to then squash it with a, you know, <laughs> whatever he does, he drops it. Not them. aware of it, but. Like all this crazy stuff, the yeah. underlying language is just so deep and so webbed if that makes sense and I think being on this platform for so long like sometimes I sit back and I'm just like it's smoke and mirrors not that it's smoke and mirrors in a dodgy way they're not pulling strings and YouTube's just YouTube doesn't want to not have exposure like that to then sell advertising because mm -hmm. no one is watching free-to-air television. No one. Your grandma and grandpa might be watching their favourite shows, but then all of these huge, huge conglomerates have turned around and gone, oh, shit, no one's watching free-to-air television. Quit at Hulu so that we can stream shows and then earn, you know, sub sub subscriptions, membership from it. Mm. So there's a whole dialogue. I mean, I could I could sit here for like two hours. How long is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, truthfully, I can just keep going. It's it's all, as I said, it's a language, and to be doing it as long as I have, and to sit here and be like, you just don't even run your own race. I know they say that, but run your own race race because you enjoy it, and it's yeah. like you girls are kind of hitting it out of the park. You know, your corporate, you have, you know, your job that you've had for whatever, come out of college and university, and you have a corporate life and you have a job. And I just don't mean corporate to anyone else out there. Like, I mean, you know, you're in the medical field, you run a shop, like whatever. And this is on the side, smart move. Because this <laughs> time job is not the judge. It's It's just not. I've had girls reach out to me and be like, I'm going to quit my job and do. Don't. Don't quit your job and do YouTube full time. 
because mm. it's not it's not what's sustainable in a way. Do you know what I mean? Yes, it's been around now for, you know, 15, 16 years or whatever when the boys launched it. But to be sustainable, you've got to realise that everything has its, you know, its season. It runs to a, a timeline. And your careers don't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess your answer. So this question, right? So yeah. your future of YouTube. Yeah. I pulled the future it out. of YouTube. Yeah. Did I? Did I kind of merge those two? Yeah. <laughs> that went right. from subscribers I watched, Jerusha. Well done. But I wanted to ask how about you two. Have you changed what you're viewing? Are you only in the Lux community still, or? Oh, uh, I will okay. let Amy go first. I'm I'm okay. all over the place. But Amy, you are pure, pure. You are pure. Um. I, so I started, well, okay, I should backtrack a bit. So I started doing actually lifestyle vlogs, Jerusha, because that's the first thing that I thought I could use to practice just being on camera and just editing, because those are not skills that I had. And one day I just had an idea that, well, I'm going to Hong Kong. It's a nice trip. At least there's stuff to show. So I'm going to vlog it and then I'm going to edit it, put it up as a vlog. So I started with actually with vlogging um, with my boring life. But I figured it's more about me practicing. It's not so much about who's going to watch it. Obviously, families, family and friends watch it. But of course, I also am a big fashion lover ever since as long as I could remember I just love clothes I love bags I love shoes so that became a big part of um it's not really a pivot I I guess I always intended to do it but like I had to start somewhere just to get the practice and then when I once I started posting my collection my bag collection which consisted of like five bags at the time then it just um, it it just stayed the course. I just kept doing luxury related content, fashion right. related content, right. and even up to till this day. And I told Cat many times too because we talk about pivoting sometimes, just because you know the vanity metrics they they do affect you because you are human. You kind of just wonder like, oh, what am I doing wrong? Why the views going down or whatnot, right? And so you think about pivoting or you think about maybe like, is, is it like the type of content or like how do, maybe you can still stay in luxury, but like, I don't know, talk about trends instead of actually doing the good old reviews and unboxings, which is mainly what I do really. Um, but it's just not my style, right? I'm not the type of person that likes to um be too opinionated like I have opinions but I don't like to make them sound like that's the opinion that you need to take from me right, like that's right, the only right. opinion like I'm not right. like that so I don't really have the skill to sort of be super vocal and super like I don't know elaborate about things about trends and whatnot and plus trends come and go so to me, the evergreen content of like just reviewing something properly so that you have an idea whether you like it or not, whether you buy it or not, is more my jam. So I've stayed the course most. I mean, here and there I've injected videos about like, okay, Almez versus Chanel, like what's what you need to know about both and like comparing the two, but still it's still very objective in a way that um, it doesn't, like, if you watch it in five years, 10 years, it's still going to be the same. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like the same thing. It's just, mm-hmm. they're two different brands, two different aesthetic and two different mm-hmm. directions of like how they're approaching the market and stuff like that. So um, for me, this is more the content that I make and I've stayed the mm-hmm. course and I don't see it changing just because I don't have any interest to change. I yeah. love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. answer. Can I respond to that? Yeah, of course. I think what is so amazing about that answer is if we weren't all different, yes, same topic, yes, same idea of content, handbags, luxury, the luxury world, the idea of the luxury world, (coughs) excuse me, and what you portray, if we all didn't have different takes on it, Yes, to me, you come across very calm, very placid, and you give a very leveled opinion. 
Is there people more outspoken in our community who will give you the vibe and, like, let you know their opinions and are very strong characters? Of course. You know, there's a lot of girls and new girls who have come on. Um, what's her name? This I want to say Scottish. That's not what she is. Oh, Island? Amelia? Yeah. yeah. Scottish, yeah. No, is she's a... It- uh, Art from a uh, north northern art like it's Amelia Rose. Thing. Yeah, is that Amelia oh, Rose? Yeah, that's so embarrassing if she sees this. Northern Ireland, yes, ish. Beautiful accent. See, so she's very strong, and that that portrays to some person that takes something away from that, and maybe that person watching it is quite a shy, inverted person, you know, and and wants a strong opinion like that to go. Oh yeah, like. That's so true. That colour is going to only have, you know, a couple of seasons last. And she's in there, like, giving it a hard opinion. But then I do want to turn to Amy, who's a little bit more gentle, to go, this may last, but do you know what? In five years' time, you can pull it back out. And that one gem is something I take from you. Do you understand? Like, everyone says it the beauty of different and that's what youtube as a platform has to offer is that it shows me who's like va va boom and then it shows you know someone like lydia who is cinematic personified so i think giving those two levels and oh my god lydia has another burke and how does she do that I want a Birkin. I, so then, it, you know, that's my race type thing. And then I want to slow down. So I want to, and to be fair, I want, I want to listen and get my information. That's where I'd go to Amy. Because the girls that are heaps more kind of opinionated and strong, maybe sometimes you don't listen. Do you know what I mean? You ever think that? Like someone who's that's yelling possible. at you, you kind of, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh okay yeah you know, that's but, true yeah like I just kind of feel like it's yeah but great answer I, to- I totally agree it's one and- of those things and you either run you stick to it I feel like I I like as I just said I feel like it's only really it's probably more than a couple of months but I've only felt like I started watching life vlogs in a completely different however I will admit not necessarily some of the girls. And I saw, a, I saw a comment say, hi, Michelle, Michelle Crawford. You can say we're Southerners. I live in the South. I saw her say that. Okay, so some of the Southerners girls, like, I don't know, Michelle, if you know. Oh, cool. Um, I don't know if you know Tara Henderson. She's pretty huge as, like, a mummy vlogger. Um, some of those girls and... Um, um, who else? Anaya. Anyway, some of those girls, it's a completely different topic. However, I did find them because of luxury. So oh. the, girl I, yeah, the girls that I follow in Houston, it's so funny because I also reach out to them. Like I might reach out to them on Instagram because they've posted, excuse me, they've put, can I drop anything into these comments for you, Kat? Can I comment? Um, I... You might not I be able to comment you unless you're watching the video. I thought you could pull up the pictures of some of the girls I watch. No? Um, or you can just send it okay. to us. Is that you and me? Yeah, Hi. yeah. Oh, I can. But can I put a picture? You can do the, you can you send it on the private chat and we can show it. Or can I put search for it? No, I don't, you can only comment. Oh. Who's the, who's the girl? Who's the, what's the name? I can send it to you on Insta. Okay. When I drop you to, um, hang on. Anyway, it, the point is, is like some of these girls that I found is because, you know, maybe their handbag popped up on my feet or something. So that's interesting that that led me to it. Do you know what I mean? So, and then I'm like, oh, like it's her life is so fun. Like I just love her accent or I love, you know, her mannerisms. And to be fair with definitely life like how you're saying Amy lifestyle vlogs some people just like the way you drink coffee <laughs> human behavior is addictive though it really is some mm, yeah cubbies will say to me like and they dm me because they're shy but they'll be like i just love watching you make coffee 
And they're like, sister, I will make coffee all day for you if that's what you like. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes like just watching someone order their Starbucks or make a cold ice latte, you just like watching it. It's like, you know, human behavior is, yeah, it's addictive, if that makes sense. It's cur- I think curiosity. So it's, yeah. you're just curious and, and then at the same time because you're not doing anything, it's, it's just going through somebody's life. Totally. And watching it. I, I love watching vlogs. I, I always watch vlogs. You do? I was gonna say I can answer the question. Uh, well, like, well, what I, do, I do a little bit of vlogging, but what you said earlier about consistency, that is the challenge. Like, I would I'd be like, I'll be have I'll have a week. I'm like, oh every day, like it's constantly vlogging. And then I'll lose steam because I'm like, oh my god, this is so much. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of remembering that you got to pick up your phone, you're doing something, I'm ironed, yes. I'm, I'm vacuuming, I'm, like, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I got to like, vlog myself vacuuming, not to get I know, me. like, oh. <laughs> and, but, but at the end, the product, when you put it all together, it actually feels like this is my life. But the, the work that goes into it, the consistency, yeah, that's really admirable because I, <laughs> I'm not consistent. I'll be like, Oh, I forgot to film this morning. Oh my gosh. It's because always on your mind and you got to get used to it. So, yeah. One of my girlfriends, she watches my vlogs and she's like, why are you saying like, thank you? Why are you so thankful? And like going, oh my God, you didn't think you've done Vlogtober. I'm like, it's completely different because firstly, that's daily vlogging and you set yourself up for that. It's like a commitment, Mm -hmm. the whole commitment plus Vlogtober and vlogmas and all that stuff is kind of see life lifespan it's got it's it's got a span no one's interested yeah. in that crap anymore. Yep. they just want to be with you as you said vacuuming your house cat and it's <laughs> weird as hell but that's it <laughs> it's so weird and the funniest thing i just saw a comment before i love who wrote that i love tucking up in my bed and watching. oh yeah yeah find it, find it. <laughs> i know you're the tech genius here um she said, I love, I think it was Joe again. I love getting in my bed and watching stuff. Oh, because. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, oh, completely yeah. agree with him. Basically the luxury yeah. live show. Yeah, because we were just saying about, you know, there are 100 people watching this and it's becomes a lot of, um, it, it's become a lot of the view audiences sort of, could be background noise, could be something that you're sitting down, you're relaxing, end of the day. And you're watching so i love it see but i love that i not necessarily lives but i was watching another girl another girl out of new york she has see she has bags too she explained her emez journey and trying to get you know a, a birkin or whatever and she was just doing q a on her life and i was getting my lashes done so I put that on quickly because you can't open your eyes. So I put that on quickly laying there and I'm like listening to her and it's it's kind of like talk back radio in the day, you know. Yeah. We're a version of talk back radio now, whether it is live or whether it's Q&As and things like that. And some people just love hearing your talk and just yeah. be there again because free-to-air television is dead. And it's sad to say that because, you know, the channels are, you know, billion dollar conglomerates, but I don't know who's your leading. I was gonna say in Canada, you don't have a you don't have a version of like an NBC, do you? Or oh yeah, CTV, uh, CBC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. CBC, yeah. Like that news, fine, but They've got to work out where we are, and this is where we are. But, Jerusha, I wanted yes. to ask you, yeah. because earlier you said that you don't, you know, you brought up the example of your sub- subscriber asking you or telling you that she wanted to start a YouTube channel mm-hmm. and be full-time, but you don't think it's sustainable. Why is that? Um, That's what you said, so I don't know, un- unless I misunderstood. Yeah, no, no. Um, as a full-time, well, I mean, what you require financially to live, sure. And if you mm. don't necessarily, you have supporting with funds, whatever. I don't I don't know what your bank account needs to survive. I don't know if you have a family. I don't know if you support your parents, whatever, right? It's all different. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, 
you know, a career and a job is a career and a job. However, I feel like I say that because YouTube and Google's platform and all of these social platforms who are fighting right now is so new. So new. Okay, what, Twitter was the first? And it was only... Um, like Twitter was the first, wasn't it? It was all calligraphy based, meaning you're only typing, mm-hmm. not necessarily a video content. Only share photos, yep. Right, share photos. And then, then obviously the Google Boys launched this and it just was a phenomenon. But it's still what? Seven, 15 years. 15 years. You're, you're an attorney in a law firm. <laughs> like it's not, uh, yes, it's probably sustainable, but. It's still so young. Does that make sense? If you were planning on, you know, you're in advertising or finance, and I am choosing corporate corporate levels, I, I probably shouldn't be quite judgmental, but, you know, if you've owned a, my family own restaurants. So it's just kind of like people are going to always need to eat. <laughs> like I'm just mm. trying to say so young and mm. I get told like, when I get asked or whatever, or I'm just having a chat with someone or even, yeah, subbies and followers. And I I do sort of give my opinion because they're like, what should I do? Like, I really want to do it. And, you know, my husband's the main income earner. I just want a hobby and can I do it full time or whatever? And it's just kind of like, well, in a way, you're asking me if you should do a career, in, essentially. Mm. It's like you're going to college and what do I what do I think about you becoming a professional basketball player? Well, it's the same. Do you understand? Yeah. Like you're still asking the same question of becoming an accountant, becoming an attorney, but on a platform that is so, so young. So young. Yes, there's stability in it because as I said, people are only going here now, but it's still unknown. It's sort and of then- like working in a company that's new. Right, if you're working in a startup, right, 100%. then you're like, you're like, uh, I think it's doing well, but at the I same time, I really don't really know. It's so. doing so well, I'm gonna quit everything. My, when you know what I mean? Um, what did the what did my dad use? My dad used to say a phenomenal saying that was so great. Um, he used to say, a hobby is a hobby, but always. Invest a hobby is a hobby and invest in it, but always have something solid to fall back mm-hmm. on. You yeah. know, have your concrete, and that's education. And, and and as much as it as a lot of people be like, oh, you know, I dropped out, or and I've got this phenomenal career now, and I dropped out of school, and now I'm, you know, Madonna. It's like, yeah, well, that percentage is, you know, you can go and do the percentages on something like that and go and really write down what are the odds of that sort of happening. Sure. But I don't know. That's just kind of my opinion. I'm not just being skeptical uh, to be skeptical. I suppose I'm just being, I'm drawing a hard line because I've kind of been there so long in a way. Do you know what I mean? It's like your, it depends on what your expectation is because I think if that subscriber is just doing it as a hobby to try it out and see what happens, then that's okay. But to expect that you're going to be able to sustain your current lifestyle uh, without having even, well, started it yet, um, then Mm -hmm. I guess, I guess I can understand why you said that it's not sustainable because I think most people that get into it full time is because they've done it for a while and then they've seen results, then they can become full time, perhaps. But even then, YouTube can change, right? Like YouTube can start not it's paying. That's the thing. It's variable. Your mm. careers aren't variable. Well, yeah. Unless you get the boot. Which could happen. Your careers aren't variable. Do you know what I mean? So <sighs> That's my tricky. Problem. I think I think YouTube is tricky. Uh, it's, it, I mean, not okay. If you compare them as a company, you can't control the company, right? But there is an element that you cannot control because 
your performance on YouTube is seen by what you saw. It's just that, that vanity factor, right? So that also, you can't control that. Whereas yeah, normal careers, control. you it's control fun. your career, right? You can excel, right? And yeah. But this it's is tough. Variable. Yeah, it is so variable. And I, as much as I come across, I suppose, confident in, you know, socials and things like that, I'm still very calculated in the sense that mm. I have, as I said, my father said, concrete to fall back on. I'm in property. So, and I don't really go into it a lot. A lot of people ask me to talk about property, especially because they're like, oh, we want to buy our first apartment as a newlywed. And and I'm there like, yes, definitely. Um, and I do lead them on to other um, developers or, t you know, property topics on YouTube, which is huge, you know, yeah, huge. And there's a lot of, you know, realtor base on here. So I kind of like, because I don't want to be sitting here going, and this handbag and this apartment <laughs> block. <and I'm> like, <laughs> but that's another thing. If, as, as you said, Amy, if it is, say, you know, I'm not categorizing and I'm not stereotyping, but it's say, this this subby of mine is like a wife and her husband is the main earner and they ha they haven't had kids yet and and she just wants to do it to be able to buy handbags use the revenue to buy handbags well do you know what i mean then yeah okay as you said if you have an aim if you have a target to work towards and that's fine if you're using it as i think a actual job Rhea. i just i wouldn't put my money on it that's all mm. and that's fun for me and that's a shit long time sorry <laughs> <laughs> a long time like ridiculous all right okay let me pull a question because some subby questions let's ask you about hermes as you know both of us are into hermes so let me pull this for the love of bags jerusha how is your hermes journey going while you answer that, there's somebody banging at my door. <laughs> Let me just oh, I'll just be right hi. back. Hi, cat's friend. It's probably I, DHL I, again. I, she always gets her delivery during the luxury live show. You're not kidding. Cool. I'm not kidding. Ask the um, subbies. Oh, Ask oh. the Luxies. They all know. The Luxies. Oh my god, I love that. That is so cool. Oh, my yeah. air journey. Oh my god, what a great, great question. The love of bags. Are you on a journey, first of all? I am I am not on a journey now. Um, okay. It's a great question. I'm not on a journey now. Hang on, I just wanted to pause because I had another question. I asked questions, Amy, on my Instagram. Right, just, I saw. Just before. I'm so sorry. Just before. Like, it was. I, I love a good weekend again. delivery. <laughs> Yeah, was it a DHL? Amy just said it's going to be a DHL. It's always a delivery. Whenever a cat has someone at the door, it's delivery of food or delivery of a package. Oh, yeah, it's great, girl. It's always a delivery. I know, I know. I don't get it. Like, I'm home the whole week, or, or at least the week. But they always come on Saturday or Sunday. I Like, why? Is that DHL? Yeah. <laughs> I bought something from far, far fetch. Bought on. Far fetch. I know. <laughs> my DHL oh my delivery. My DHL oh. delivery. Oh my um, God. man, associate is so funny. Because it's the same guy from the area, and he's like, so it, he's it's the same like, guy. And I'm like, and I just asked him, I said, why do you come on this time? I'm always like, <laughs> I don't know. It's always this time. Your area is this time. I'm like, oh yeah, my God. My area is this time. <laughs> My guy now just like leaves and he kind of leaves a letter, like a little note on the door going, Aww. Hey, or something like that. So cute. But he's really cool because he knows it's like kind of, you know, don't leave it on the curb. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah, yeah. my DHL guy will call me if, if the, if, because I live in an apartment yeah. like a condo. Yeah. So if no one answered, he would call me and be like, Are you at home? I'm like, Oh, oh so yeah, 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 yeah. That's so good. Yeah, that's totally. That's a, okay, um, sorry. Let's okay. answer this. How's your Hermes journey coming along? I know. Along? Yeah, I was just scrolling through these questions on um, Insta that I. Oh, you to have questions as well. Okay. Well, I just threw. I told Amy I threw up a question sticker to just. 
I guess, get yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you guys just think handles are so hard? No offense to anyone. For the love of for the love of bags, it's pretty un easy, sister. But Caro Chan, okay, I'm gonna go with that. Caro Chan, hi Jerusha, love your videos. Thanks, babe. Have you used your Evelyn twenty nine mm. yet? That is a very good question. I have not. I is have... that a new bag? Is that a new? Did you just get a new bag? Let me get it. And then another one is Sal, Sal, Sally with an I. Hey, Jerusha, can we talk about MS? Honestly, it is such a <laughs> hard game to play. Yeah, That's there we go. I want to go over that because I feel like it's starting to get negative connotation. Don't you think? Mm. Like, not just play, started, it, it always had been. It's always been. <laughs> the it always like, had been. But, but it's we like, found out the hard been, way. Yeah, but a negative commentation of it's a hard game to play, she's asking, yes. meaning you win or lose. Yes. I just feel like mm -hmm. it takes, but it takes like the joy of the luxury brand out of it to a point where it's just like, I don't know, I if, if, if I owned the house, I just, why do you want, why do you want negative connotation with like, well, I got, like I hate the brand now. I bought all this stuff and I can't get a quota bag. Like you go away with a bad taste in your mouth. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But then I guess the other side of the coin is it's not easy to get so it's not saturated. I don't know. At this point, I will answer the question. Let me get it. Oh, it's right here. Sorry. Just bending over. <laughs> Wow, oh, black. wow. Is it black? Wait, hang Lovely. on. Can you make it bigger? Okay, here we go. Let me do it. Yeah, let me do it. I got it. There we go. Oops, I was doing it as well. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let me hide that comment. You're doing it at the same time as me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you both control it? I thought Kat was the tech. Both of us can do it. No, we are no. both doing it. Here we go. So it's in wow. the box. Miss. Caro, it is sitting in the box. It is Noir Clemence, and it has not been used. Now, I'm a big girl, but look at it compared to me, a 29. So why Isn't haven't you used it? How long have you had it? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't have the proof of purchase, but um, a long time. Like over Maybe a year? Aaron knows how long I've had it. <laughs> a long time. A long enough. Why don't I use it? This. When I was in MS, oh, that, okay, that's what I want to ask. Amy, Vancouver, you should have your French. How do we pronounce, is it Hermes? Air? Hermes. Air. Hermes. Hermes. You don't say okay. the A. So my question is, do you just get so annoyed with all of us that just say Hermes? <laughs> no, I don't care. But people think that I'm trying to pretend that I know how to speak French because they think that I say it wrong. It's a French colony, especially Vancouver, right? No, I, I, I was born and raised in Montreal, which is in Quebec. Which is even, I swear, that Quebec is the French speaking province. There you go. And so I spoke French for the better half of my better half of my life. So, yeah, yes. I want to start saying like, Hermes. Hermes, but could you imagine yeah. the only girl from saying, I think to... you could say it the way that if you can I... learn the proper way and you try to do it, I think that's commendable because a lot of people say it wrong. And I, I would never criticize someone who does not know how to say it, but people that come around and say that I'm saying it wrong, those are the ridiculous people that don't know what they're talking about. So, <laughs> oh, Absolutely. And I think the thing, the thing is, is to, is to give credit where credit is due and not just kind of assume someone is being yeah. like, uh, like a, I don't know, like a, a proper, you know what I mean? When they, when they, you think they don't know. Does that make it's sense? Like they hear the wrong way so often that they think that's the right way. So when you say it the right way, they think that you're saying the wrong way. But then instead of being nice about, oh, I thought it was this way, 
instead of saying that, they just assume and um, I suppose. Uh, that was one of the questions. How do you deal with trolls? <laughs> mm, yeah. She wrote trolls slash haters. Mm -hmm. Dan, we want to know too. D A N <laughs> Hi, babe. How do I deal with trolls or haters? I'll tell you, babe. I don't. Yeah, don't deal with them. Yeah, just leave them. Ugh, whatever. I don't. It's been too long. I couldn't give a shit. Trust me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. You, you name it. I've heard it. You say it. I've heard it. You want to talk about. <laughs> Oh my god, just took it up to the dishwasher. No, I'm gonna make a coffee. Can I make a coffee and come back? <laughs> what my happened? Mom, my my mom, my mom's name is Jillian, and I call her uh, Jillian. Yes. Um Jillian's upstairs and she's using the white one today. With, oh. She just drinks boiling water and lemon peel. Same. That's just, just water. Just boiling water. That's what she drinks. It's 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 been her drink my whole life. She doesn't drink coffee or tea. And she goes, honey, can you get more boiling water for my boiling water out here? She's having a meeting with my husband, property-wise. And, and I was like, yeah, yeah, no way. And uh, no problem. I bring out the kettle to fill it. And I'm like, get using my mug. She goes, why? Are you I go, because Will, my husband, Will, won't use them. And I look at, you know, I give him a dagger. I'm like, he won't use them. And she's like, why? And he turns around and goes, I am not cracking her third or fourth set of these oh, no. mugs, I don't want that on me. And he got right. so, like, fussy. He's like, I don't need to use a bougie mug. I was like, so I was kind of a bit heartbroken that he won't use them. Because they truly <laughs> are the best. Do you drink coffee, Amy? Oh, always in the morning. Yeah, it is. Yeah. the. Is it not the best size, truthfully? It's the it best is. size. Best to hold, best the, the best good weight. Hold, it's just it's so snug in the hand. Yeah, and it's easy to wash. When but, I yeah, no one touches my mug that, though. When I go, this is a funny thing. It it's not hate. There you go. It's it's not hate, Danny. But when I go on about an item, people think I'm like sponsored. I'm like, if I was sponsored by MS, I would be so happy. But they're like, oh, gee, are you in paid to endorse that? Should, one one girl's like. All you do is go on about these mugs that you've had so many. Are you, are you showing off or just are you paid? I'm like, sister, I would love to be paid. <laughs> to own three or four sets of these bloody expensive mugs that I've broken. It's not a good thing. Like it's shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm holding this bloody strap. This is the reason I haven't used it. Oh, because why? I am a big girl. I'm taller. This and I've tried it on when I was there, I couldn't care less. <laughs> That's another thing about MS. This is going to be the longest live show. Jerusha doesn't shut up. <laughs> I don't mind if there's a faux pas or a, an, a, a detail on an item, any item that I don't like about MS, I will work out how to use it on other houses that my head instantly calculates, which we'll get to, Dior. Remind me to ask you about Dior. Maybe someone's asking. I have a, I have a Not, question yeah, but, about Dior anyway, yeah. Just jot that down in the notes. <laughs> get I feel it. like the technician. Jot it down in the notes because I need to talk about Dior. But if you're in it, if you've known, if you know it that well, your head quickly goes, digga, 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 digga. Am I happy to part? with the fact that this strap is not what I want, it doesn't really fit me, but the digits and the workout and the resale on this bag versus dropping seven grand on a Dior bag where it hits high, do you see what I mean? I can calculate mm -hmm. that one split second that it's a it's a more profitable buy. And mm -hmm. I will go into it, trust me, I'll go into it, girls. We can get into the truth about luxury handbags. And ma matter of fact, Jillian just sent me a whole article. See, I want to – I'm going to DM you this stuff, Kat, because I don't know. When you guys I just saw how busy Jerusha is, like, this is proof, <laughs> living proof. <laughs> <laughs> living proof, what? But I'm you're not. living proof that you're so busy. <laughs> that I just, we yeah. were saying that earlier before you joined us. We are like, Jerusha's coming. <laughs> Listen, I didn't want – and my baby, my little four-year-old's broken his arm. 
Oh, oh no. Yeah, he was being stupid on the trampoline. You know, kids will be quick kids. But I try to eliminate <clears throat> situations. I'm very controlled. I have a brain injury. <clears throat> right. I, I saw it on your vlog. I was in a car crash, yeah. I was in a car crash 10 years ago and I have a brain injury. So hurdles like that, they never said I would have kids to begin with. My my the the all of the brain injury surgeons was like this girl will not procreate. One, she won't be able to have kids, probably not not technically, but she won't be able to carry them and and be safe, but she won't be able to handle children. Mm. And the way I've worked it, the way I've worked it out though, is that I treat it the same way as I treat like my career or work. Is that I am so so kind of incremented in what I do each kind of minutes of the day that I don't allow errors to happen. Now it's life; it's not possible, right? But I'll say things like at bath time at night. I'll be like, if the two of you be stupid. And someone slips and smashes their chin open and needs just stitches. I'm not going to emergency tonight. So act right. So I'll I'll try. Do you know what I mean? I try to control every situation like that. And mm. with this situation, I was like, do not go under the trampoline. It is the number one most you know accident prone area for kids because they go under and they bang and they're jumping and it's the opposite direction. We all know that. And I go, do not go under the trampoline because I'm not going to emergency today. And what do they do? The baby goes <laughs> under the trampoline, sticks his hand up, and my eldest jumps oh. straight. Ah! So he yeah, he fractured his elbow. And it was oh my gosh, it was so weird because he came out from under the trampoline. And I was like, that scream, like a mother, only a mother knows that scream. Like your uterus hurts when they're <laughs> screaming like that. And Will, my husband, said, you're fine. Suck it up. And I'm there going, he's not fine. The arm is broken. Take him yeah. straight away. And they were like, it's just a fracture in his elbow. But the poor little git is like. <laughs> so I'm right. My point to that is I'm running around this house trying to, like, control him and his brother being stupid with a broken arm. <laughs> I just, I just, is I just that your younger it. one? Because I remember you saying one. on the vlog that your younger one is the. The one that you wish that, you know, you, 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 saw, you said something about his name and how you guys came up with his name and something like that. Massey. Is it Massey? Massey's no. The, Massey's the Yeah, one. the younger one. one. Yeah. I digress massively because that's what's going to happen. But <laughs> yes, my life. I was just trying to. The problem is, is that luckily he's such, he's very different to my eldest Massey. Zaki's very unfazed. Like he's very unbothered. So kids are really resilient anyway, but he's really unbothered. So the only time he'll really scream out, which is what he was doing, he was trying to undo a jar of like like a jar of lollies or yeah. like whatever treats, and he was trying to undo it with his arm. He's screaming out for me. So I was just kind of like, okay, this is not going to work. Mm. Yes, I was busy running around. However, this, don't love it. Hits short on me because I'm taller and curvier and a bigger girl. However, I don't like the webbing at all. Yes, MS now have straps and whatnot, and they'll probably work. I just haven't ventured into that yet, but I will. But it's just, how do I put it? It's really similar. If you have the um, multi-pochette, you know, the, the different. Oh, things. yeah, the, like, guitar strap. Correct. This is your webbed guitar strap and it's webbed to the point where it would peel. Like it's, yeah. it would start to get fluffy. Um, right. One, I don't think that's really a nice look, but I also don't think it's flattering to this bag. This is meant to be a quote unquote inspired bag by horse feed. So you know that, right? We all know these things, right? <laughs> uh, the picotin is though. This one I don't remember what it is for because I'm not, I was I never in oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, this is a grooming bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this to show you. No, <laughs> yes, right. This is a grooming bag to keep all the grooming things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. so. So I don't, I don't feel like it's dainty, obviously, but 
The juxtaposition of how thick this is for me personally, I'm not gravitating towards it. If there was probably a medium size strap for it, not as big as this, I will probably, yeah, gravitate to it a bit more. So that's my answer a hundred years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we can talk about that. Dior. You should not have had me on your show, show honestly. No, like, that's fine. Yeah. Everyone has their pace and style. Oh, really? This Well, this is what a live is for. Because, yeah. you know, right. it's a, you won't be able <laughs> to do that. Pace, keep up with it. It's absolutely in and out. But nonetheless, Caro, it's, I mean, it's just divine. This leather is like a puddle of leather. Mm. It is so delicious. So soft. Any type of soft, large grain leather is my favorite. Clemence, Togo, obviously. Country, I just love it. I think it is so beautiful. That's to answer that question. I haven't Yay. even started. All right. Yeah, let's switch so to Hermes, this question. Hermes Journey. Amy, mm -hmm. correct? Hermes. I'm not yeah, going to put the like French twirl on it, but I might start saying Hermes. Eh, like yeah. Hermes. Eh. Why not? Breathe, right? Eh. Hermes. Hermes. You don't Hermes. say the H. The H is silent. So it's Hermes. 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 Yeah. I figured I, because although I will say proudly, I feel like the luxury community have grown in their pronunciation better. I hope you agree, Amy. Like we all started saying Hermes and now everyone says <laughs> Everyone Hermes. has, yeah. <laughs> so it's like everyone started by saying Hermes. Mm -hmm. Now it's Hermes and maybe it will be Hermes soon. Mm -hmm. But that's One the same. We older. shall get there. Yeah. But it's okay, Jerusha, because even the essays here, which are non-French speaking, they say it wrong as well. Like when I talk to them and yes. I talk colors, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like when I tell them the colors that I like, I have to say it the wrong way so that they understand. Oh, wow. That is just You see where I'm, where I'm coming from? Like because we are, like Vancouver is a, mainly english speaking like the rest of canada except quebec is mainly english speaking yeah, quebec, um, right. ontario certain places like ottawa because of the you know government and everything then it's bilingual there but it's mainly english here right so like when you say it the proper way people will look at you with funny eyes because they don't know what you're saying so i have to say it the wrong way so that they know what i'm talking about oh my god you have to say it the wrong way yeah, I will never is... get over one of Will's friends here, Amy. Oh, sorry, Kat, I've just dropped in some quick little pictures of when Zaki first broke it. The hospital gave oh. him a little bear that had a bear. Oh, uh, oh my. Yeah, I don't know if that'll, I don't know if you can put that up. Let's, yeah, let's see. <laughs> it was so good at it. Yeah, they gave him a little bear with a sling on and a broken arm bandage so that he would um feel like he has a little friend so now the bear has to go everywhere with him but that is my question for that how do i feel about the ms journey amy was what you asked that's one of the questions from i want to know from you two first because it's a big question going around is it not well yeah like You're... is anyone else playing the game? I've seen that a lot. Playing the game. So earlier you said you were not playing the game. You are no. not in the journey. No, not now. Not now. How do you feel about the the different luxury brands today in general? So we'll include Dior in it since you wanted to yes, talk about Dior. See, if I don't go here. Look at me like Bending down, it's so unflattering. I'm so sorry to all our viewers. Who, Joe? Joe, you are on fire in these comments, girl. I love it. She loves the black, all black B25 Togo black 25. Wait, what did she ask about that, Kat? No, she what just said, you? Oh my God, I have, okay, let me just pull the picture out. <laughs> Of Zaki, so it's so oh. cute. Hang on, you're so it's clever like, that you can do that. 
Let me just do that. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Have we been together for an hour and a half? Uh, the live know? has been. Oh, let me hide Aww. a little bit. Oh, so oh. cute. Yeah, no. He was, and he was just out cold after it because obviously the whole adrenaline of it. Now the slings off because the the mold had to set and the slings off. So he's working out how to move. Look, he's so unfazed, lucky. He's not that kind of dramatic kid. He just, yeah, he's a little cruiser. Yeah. Ah, so <laughs> cool. Let, let me show you how I was saying one of my girls that I watch her vlogging. And that's what I meant is I then, Jesus, is anyone keeping up, Amy? Topically keep us up. We're going back to the, <laughs> vloggers, the vloggers I follow and how the direction gets me to them is usually through their luxury purchases. Like I'll see, I don't know, something might come up on my feed on Insta and I'll be like, look, because I was looking at dual bags or something and she's got the vlogger. Like that's where I found some of the vloggers, as I was saying, in Houston, some of the girls there. This is Gina. And she is from Houston and she she's so cool actually because she I think she's got like kind of new money, if that makes sense, especially mm -hmm. for social media. So she does it full time and that's kind of like new money to her. So I feel like she buys um, luxury handbags and luxury accessories and things like that. She said in a vlog lately that she hasn't gone into the clothing side of it because she's a bigger, curvier girl. Um, but she does get handbags as like a treat because she's kind of got, you know, new money type thing. But it's cute because she partners it with, excuse me, low, low end. So she'll go on sites like Shein or um, uh, like, all those sort of sites and pair it pair it with low end mm. and I, I like seeing it from someone outside of the luxury community's view does that make sense like I was kind of shocked at first I was like oh my god like she's got a handbag like I went so I messaged her I was like sister look at this she was like oh my god hi Jerusha and I was like yeah that is so cute and she gets lots of like pops of color she's got beautiful skin I sent it to you just then Kat Ooh, I'm gonna nice. drop everything to Cat, guys. If I <laughs> well, you have to drop it to Amy because yeah, Cat because I'm, about to leave. I'm about to go because ah! today. Yeah, I know, but continue, continue, because I, I, have, I'm going off to my second job, <laughs> third job. Yeah, yeah, I've got an like a sort of like an audition at one third. Well, one th in about forty five minutes. So. I need an audition for. Okay, so well. Besides my corporate way? work, okay, besides my corporate work and obviously hobby on YouTube, I also teach gym. I also, I also do the gym. Like, I do oh, fitness. Cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm trying to trying to get into another another gym. So they want an audition. Audition. Okay. Like an, like, it's sort of like an interview. So I've, yeah, so happened today. So wow. I'm going to drop off. I will watch back the live. I'm curious to see all your answers. Oh, does this stay up? I forget how it works. Oh, yeah, yeah. It will. It's under. Yeah, it will stay up because I'm the host, actually, Jerusha. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the host today. I keep saying it. I thought whenever I see your lives, I always thought kind of Kat does the technical side and Amy does like the management side. Oh, we no. do both. Depends on the week. Yeah, you go it back depends on the week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. All right. Thanks for coming. We want to see you back. We'll have more chat. But Are I'll you drop off and I'll watch back. Yeah, she has to leave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why this but, second? Okay. But we're. I'm still here with you. And okay, here, yeah. Yeah, I'll just yeah, yeah. show the picture that you share with. Can I share the picture? Bye, Kat. Can I share Bye. the picture that you sent me? Yeah, totally. Why not? Okay, there. She'd love this that. This is... This is the girl you were talking this about. This is Gina. Yeah. Aww. This is Gina with her cute little cute outfit. Yeah, her cute little um her hair it's a small is on your... I know, right? <laughs> uh, I think it's a small lady Dior. 
Yeah, that's yeah. a mini. Nice. It looks like a mini. Either a small or a mini. Uh, yeah, it could be a small, actually. It could be a small. You're right. Oh, pretty. Oh, yeah, no, pretty. That's just one of her. She has, a, she has um, the YSL Lulu. She has some bigger bags, which is nice because she's bigger. Yeah. Than me. Um, but, yeah, no, so that's an example of how that kind of, do you know what, <laughs> led me. Is Kat gone? Cat's, Cat's not on, but the, the live is still on. We're so sorry. Yeah. Jim, it just so happened yeah. that today she had to drop off 15 minutes yeah. earlier than yeah. usual. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know if I could get here. So I'm so happy. <laughs> I am so, so happy. I was trying to find something else I wanted to show you. But, yeah. Um, what about you? Talk to me about Emma's. Yeah. Yes. Well, so... Um, you mean how my journey is going? It's going because I've been, I guess I started in 2021, beginning of the year, sort of like, because it was the pandemic, right? And so in 2020, I was still doing a lot of Chanel. And I just decided that, you know what, it's time that I just, you know, just do it instead of just thinking about all these scenarios that, oh, what if, what if you don't get it? What if it's going to be hard and this and that? Why not just do it? Did you have a plan? Yes, I did. I, I guess my plan was that I, I would just go into it. Well, it's not that I didn't expect an outcome, but I also wouldn't be so like, I should be patient with the process because that's what you need, I suppose. And every locale is different, right? Like, Mm -hmm. um I had friends cat included that was that had started the journey slightly earlier than me and have seen results early so that was encouraging but like obviously my journey was very different Canada very similar to how Sydney is or Australia is a big country except that we have a very low population density right, right. and so right naturally uh people just don't spend as much here like people are not really into luxury except the the ones that are are so even the stock is reflective of that like the yeah, stock that canada gets and the offers are very far and few between so i learned it the hard way that um it's a lot slower in canada <laughs> it's yeah, a lot true. lot yeah. lot slower and when your journey is a lot slower, because here on average, you have to wait a year for every offer, for every quota offer. And that's like considered average if you're actively, um, you know, shopping, <laughs> like buying things mm -hmm. and um, being loyal to the brand. Yeah. And so um, learned it the hard way that things are at, at a different pace here. And just because it's a longer journey, you do end up spending more money as well. So like this, um, you know, notion that, oh, in some places you can spend, for example, one to one ratio to get an offer. Well, one to one is not going to happen in Canada, similar to how Australia is to like many well. people in Australia. Also, it's like, way higher of a ratio as well so it's sort of like you take it a day at a time and you just do what you need to do because I have an end goal and it's not impossible as long as you're willing and you yeah. just have to reprioritize everything else and so ever since then um, I mean it didn't help that my Chanel essay has also left so I guess I have less of a motivation and less uh, incentive to shop at Chanel also just because I also can't get anything that I want, like the colorways that I want or the bags that I want or the things that I want in general. So um, you think you they're, trying have to play, just... they're trying to play the MS game or we'll get to that? Yeah, level. I feel like they are as well, but a little bit different. No, it's not so in your face, but... Mm -hmm. Um, relationships are very important for sure at Chanel and um, that goes without saying for Hermes as well and um, with Hermes I find that what I like and enjoy about it now is that 
you know, at first you don't really know their products as well. You just feel like, oh, you have to do these things, like buy things from well, different that was ask, Where do we get this from? How do we have concrete answers that this is what we have to do? How do we know that? You Has don't. anyone ever said to an SA or a store manager, excuse me, can I just know that in general we have to have a purchase history to this amount? Have we ever had concrete confirmation? They will See, never tell it to your face. No. So is that, is it true? It is true, but also everyone's experience will be very different as well. So like uh, someone who may shop at the same store as you, they may be able to get this exact bag, but they have set, spent less. It doesn't mean that neither of them didn't uh, fulfill the requirements, so, sort of speak, right? But it's a different journey, like different people, different essay interactions, different purchase histories. Right. Um, I think in the end, Elmez is just, they're going to be loyal to the people who are loyal to them. Yeah. And um, they want to see that you truly enjoy the brand. And one way yep. of see, like of proving that is that you enjoy their products across the board. 100%. So that's why the pre-spend, they, like they're not telling you that you have to do it. I don't end up buying they're a lot of things. Show, that I don't show it. Show the love for the brand. So other than a pre-spend, you could go in there and have a beautiful appointment with an essay or a store manager or whatnot and sit for a half an hour and talk history and love of the brand oh, and yeah. boom, boom next appointment have a kelly 25 well okay not not in all the locales that's the only way that this can happen is in paris or in like hawaii or like uh sydney so that's I, exactly I heard Sydney. This is exactly Sydney. that story. Oh, okay. You okay. tell it then, Jerusha. <laughs> that is exactly this story, Amy, honestly. And um, I would never turn around and go, well, I can ask for any bag now and he'd give it to me. That's not what this was. But it was... It was an experience. I remember a subby saying when I unboxed it and I said that story, I was like, I have no idea how I got this. I was like, oh, just because it's you and you said you were Jewish, you could tour and you're this and that. I didn't say shiz. Like I did not say anything. I didn't say anything about fashion or whatever. I might have said I was a fashion designer by trade, but uh, we just talked brand. We taught understanding, knowing, no, as you said, knowing and being loyal to the brand in the sense of knowing the products. You don't have to spill all the names and all the colors and everything like that, but knowing what you like and why you like it, uh, excuse me, what it means to you in the sense of, like I suppose, fashion scope, if that makes sense, versus any other house or what they take what they take pride in to have minimal saturation on the market. Why do they do it? Why do they do this? Why do they do minimal saturation, therefore keeping it exclusive, when they could hoard the market and be making, you know, as a conglomerate, 10 million times the amount they can, they would. Because if it was able to be, not a Louis Vuitton standard, but, yeah, Chanel standard available, they would make so much more money. So why do they do it in the sense of going, well, you can't have it, therefore we want you to want it, but we won't sell as many? Does that make sense? In, in like, a business sense of going, well, hang on, this is so in demand, you could be selling X amount of them more because of the demand. Why don't you? And my answer to that, as it is hearsay, is appreciation for the brand. Yes, I believe, I agree with you that I think there is a minimum spend and there's a game. 
But I think we created that narrative. Oh, I think for sure. We created it. And we, we truthfully did. The luxury community on YouTube or in general created a minimum spend narrative that you have to have one-to-one or whatever. I don't think any SA or sales manager would tell you that's necessarily the truth. They want you to have loyalty to the brand, as you said. That is what I believe. That comment that you've said, that is exactly what it is. And knowledge of the brand. So going back to tell the story of this, every time I get up, you can see me in my tracksuit pants. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm back up. Um, yeah. Oh, beautiful color. The story of this to have a Kelly 25 and is this is how it came about. So this is a garden in country in Rose Pop. Garden party, sweetie. It's garden what party. Did what did I say? You said garden country. <laughs> no, so this is a garden. I just, yeah, sorry. This is a garden. I, I brought a didn't say the whole so this is a garden party in country in rose papri so country is very similar like i love this country is a lot more like togo clemence is really soft this oh. is got a bit of, yeah so this leather is called country yeah country that's oh. why that's why that's i just said it here i'll make you bigger oh okay so garden party in country leather and in Rose Popri, which is this gorgeous kind of, oh, my God, it's so deep. It is so luscious. Like, it is just so saturated. Like, the saturation in this leather is insane. If you could see it, I think it's pulling. It's pulling up perfectly on this camera. Can you sort of see? I love the this color. color. When I first thought I was going to start my journey, I had said that I wanted a bag in a Birkin in this color. That's what I said at the time. Oh, the Birkins in this Rose Papri, and they're just going off right now in this color. They're, I'm seeing a lot of unboxings of these, these Rose Papri or even lighter. But this is what started it. You just heard me say all of those things, all of those I guess I'm trying to think of the word technical terms and explain the beauty or just say it in my opinion. So my essay who was the boutique manager, he still is, which was amazing. And that was just by chance. I don't know how I got him, but he's the Sydney boutique manager. And he saw, he saw me sitting there idolizing it and that is just for my knowledge of it i majored in hermes i majored in i majored in fashion design college i majored in hermes, mm. hermes, <laughs> hermes and i majored it in terry mugler so between the two designers which is polar opposite it, mugler is very contemporary very very um fluid Whereas these guys are like so structured and it's such a rigid house and it's so royal. <laughs> How do I put it? It's so like Cambridge. If you, you know equestrian, if you know equestrian and you know that kind of language of the equestrian world and it's so tailored, do you know what I mean? It's so... It's so grown. It's so grown up. It's so old money. I love this. Mm. Don't even. Have you done that topic on life? You mean the quiet luxury? quiet luxury? Yes, we have. We did a live stream on it. Um, but I think we did it for members, the members. Oh, okay. Instead of the public side. You know what? We should end with this. The public, public side. Yeah. Is there a time limit on this, Amy? I'm so embarrassed. There, well, we like, usually uh, we usually end it on a two hour, but you know what? We can just we can just do one more question or at least one more topic. How about that? Okay. Did I kind of answer? No, I didn't. 
I don't have an MS journey anymore because I feel like I don't have a direction. You mm. put it perfectly. You have a goal, you have an outcome, you have what you want to reach. And I want to ask you when and if you reach that, will you be done or are you bitten? So, okay, that's a good, good question. So because, and let me just put us about the same size again. Yeah, so um, originally. Wait, sorry, interrupt, when we're this size, if I step out, can you see me? You couldn't see me when I got dressed, could you? No, I couldn't see you. <laughs> if we're this size and I step out like that, can you see my hand? No, we can't see your hand. Oh, but when I'm on large screen, you can see? When you're on larger just, screen, we can see more of your studio. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I just, I'm like, yeah. I've stepped out and got changed. No, and, we couldn't see oh. you. You were safe. <laughs> okay, cool. So keep going. So yeah, would you uh, be well, So originally, when I was thinking of getting into the journey, I had in my head that I would want at least, you know, Burke and Kelly, Constance, for example, Mini Kelly, like those four main and then, and then I shall be done, right? That's the original sort of thought. But the funny thing with them so is... Sorry, the three, so the three top? Three top plus the mini Kelly, right? Size-wise. So four. So three top. Kelly... And the, and the push, like the... Not the push, it, the mini. Yeah, right. Yeah. So um, just like any brand, I suppose, that you really shall get into and especially with Hermes being the a, a different type of brand that will reward their customers with by their loyalty um, and as you get into it you discover that you actually do love the brand so initially you get into it because you wanted the bags I think a lot of people have started it this way hmm. um, but as you get into it and because it's also sort of like how they work. Their offers are far and few between for sure. And how you have to explore the brand and inadvertently you just become a big fan of the brand. Obviously, I'm not going to buy furniture or like things that I don't use. I'm not going to buy those things. But things that I do use and love, I keep going back and I keep... Right. Right. shopping more every right. time so right. it's sort of like now I don't see it ending necessarily wow but does it slow down hopefully one day because it's very expensive but that was <laughs> another thing invented. someone asked me is like <laughs> how do you justify this so that is another point if we're going to just stay on this um, as, um topic for a second sure. which is you can go forever right is how do you justify this? And that's another really, really big thing I think the house knows now, meaning in the last probably obviously half a decade, they've realised that their resale is sickening. Yeah. Sickening. So will people invest in it? Sure, because they know the resale's there. If the interest is still there, which I don't think it's going anywhere, and I don't think these companies meaning resale companies, proper set up resale companies. And that, you know, the, when I say proper, I mean, that's what they're dedicated to. So your big shops in New York, your big, whatever, your fashion piles, that's what they're dedicated to. They can't have this stuff go, it's a phase. Oh, nobody wants a Birkin now. So we're stuck with all of this stock or whatever, right? If they've bought it outright. Um, the resale is wild and I think yeah in the last half a decade they've realized I think the house has realized shit people are it's become a almost like a commodity it's become a mm -hmm. you know and that's what I'm saying mum sent me I'm going to send it to you in general she just sent me this article she found this morning um I'll find the link and send it to you because she's like, oh, my God, it's the most amazing read, Jerusha. And I was like, okay. And if, you know, people in business like that, like my mum's a realtor and it's just kind of like, you know, proper, they laugh. They laugh at the idea that a handbag can give you, you know. Investment. 
Yeah, investment with like 35 yeah. and they're like, no. And I'm like, ah, ha, ha. So you'd be <laughs> surprised. You would be very surprised. And I mean, she, like, she must know by now, right? With well, your... no. <laughs> Not really? Not just because of me. My world, my world doesn't. Well, my friends and family don't. don't right, no, right. Know. But you, you don't oh, tell why, her. Why do I have, <laughs> why do I have like a quarter of a million dollars worth of handbags? <laughs> yeah, they do now. And that's what I was saying. How do you justify? How do you justify a car this is a car sixteen thousand dollars australia yeah. how tall is the same so let me ask you jerusha babe how do you have to justify it sorry just to double check our dollar is the same right you and me uh i think that they're kind of close at one point at right they're really now. close it's not the same but it's close you're stronger than us for a little bit uh yeah so Right now, our dollar is equal to a dollar eleven Sydney dollars, or uh, sorry, right. Australian dollars. Right. So it's about ten percent difference. Yeah, it's all Canadian, right? Yes. It's about yeah. So just We're stronger. Um, We're stronger. Ours, ours is stronger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. You so sixteen thousand divided by one point one one is about fourteen thousand plus here, which is right. about right. yeah, it's about right. That's Whereas the in US is insane, yes, at the moment, so strong. So you guys to buy over the border is not right. <laughs> yes, right? The, the US dollar is at least thirty percent right. same as us, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, perfect. So people, especially in my life, they they can't understand and they won't. And so many people say, by now they should know. Common common social, again, social media, but co common social understanding and, you know, pub, like, you know, um, public figures and, you know, the celebrities carrying these handbags and the general language of these handbags going around like everyone this is a generalization a lot of people will know what a Birkin is because it's on sex and city it's on this it's mm -hmm. on that you know the celebrities are carrying it the uh, you know the reality star shows show stars are carrying them so it it creates it to be a, a general language however do they really understand no do they really understand the price and why you would pay? Again, like 100 people in this room or you know, however many we've got now, $15,000. We complain about filling up the tank with petrol <laughs> in our car and saying, oh, my God, it was $80 for a tank of fuel. It's not even, it doesn't compute. Do you understand? So I think that the... The knowledge is what they want behind it. Why you would turn around and just go mm. bang, you know? But to the people, and I always think, you know, those are probably not the the real viewers or subscribers. I always say, why do I have to justify it, honestly? Right. Not spending right, your right. money. That's exactly it. It's not your know, money. And why do you go, buy a house? What right? Why do you buy anything I actually? Think, I think the reason we say we have to justify it is because we're in the public eye. Yes. I don't think you can sit down and like I had one, I think he's not a subscriber, but it was a viewer and it was a male, and he said, You're putting out the worst message to the young generation to buy, you know, waste money on these sort of things and you know, c consumerism, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And I suppose my clapback or my debate to it was if we were sitting here endorsing to, you know, hit the pub, hit the club, get booze, drink, shoot up some drugs. Like, do you see what I mean? Like there's categories for all of it and mm -hmm. some are, you know, labelled as superficial, wasting money. Mm -hmm. And sure, you can go as a hobby but the deeper you dive into it, the actual smarter it is. 
yes, fashion is my occupation. I am by 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 trade a fashion designer, as I said, but my fallback is property. Now you can't get any more solid than bricks and mortar. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So why would I turn around and drop fifteen thousand dollars, four thousand dollars on two handbags in my hand? Because I believe and know that this house for now and for the foreseeable future of, let's say, another half a decade, these are going to hold resale. That brings me to the point of Dior. Yes, please finish with this. Let's finish with Dior. Let me put these back. Please do not see my sweatpants. It's so (laughs) good. No. Jerusha, we're fine with your sweatpants. And, and I, I had to pu- I had to pull this comment from for the love of bags. Can you just pull some comments while we're here? Yes. Yeah, so she says that's because buying gas is in fun. Buying a Birkin is. <laughs> but and also for the love of bags, babe. We have to buy gas, right? We don't have to buy Birkin. It was a bad, it was a bad, it was a bad, uh, um, look at all my eye candy. Do you like me being in the studio for this? Is this new? Oh, this. I don't think I'm going to Ah, yeah, we were just talking about this. I love this bag, but Kat hates it, so. I don't think I like it. I can't believe it. I like it. I have some of the absolute smallest little dinky bags around, but this is dinky. It is okay, so, so, and I've got to, I think I am going to say, I think I've got my blog next week. I say this, but I don't you don't know. like it's, it. It's, it's just not. Okay. So what's wrong with this? I, I need to know. So I don't have to go buy it. <laughs> no, it might work for you. Um, firstly, of course you would say the opening because like, Zipper, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, how do I put it? Everyone so says words like user friendly. It's just, it's really shallow. Oh, okay. But it's really like that is as far down as we're going. So if it's to my ring, that's this deep, right? So, Ooh. and because it's curved, it's just, I don't know how oh. to. It's really, it's, and it's really finicky and fiddly and like, sure, the, the loop is really fiddly as well and stuff like that. It's just the bum bag MM is way more, mm. way more functional and it has the lip. I oh. would love them to redo it like the mini palm springs and take the lip off the, um, the bum bag MM. Um, because this doesn't have the lip, but that is so much more user friendly. This is just, yeah, it's really dinky, and I have a lot of dinky bags. I can't, I can't explain. I don't feel like I enjoy using it. If that makes sense. Yeah, you just saved me three thousand three hundred dollars or something like that. <laughs> well, it might work for you. Go try it on. No, Go. the the fact that you said the zipper that already I hate zippers. That's number one, and the shower. <gasps> do you do you like a tote more, Amy? Just I, a, yeah, a, I prefer a I flat or a tote. I miss scenes, BB, so much. You have no idea. I've got to buy it back like that. Up. I'm not buying it new at all. That is the most ridiculous price. But like my garden party, that that's my go-to. It is my go-to. I miss my capucins so much because it's just in and out. Mm-hmm. Works. It's there. Whatever. This is. I just don't know how to explain why this is so much more dinky. Look at me. I'm just. Yeah, about- I can see. I can see. Uh... And I don't like that it's curved, so now your things are kind of sliding down, right? Right. Yeah, no, that's not going to work for me, no. And then they just try to upsell because of the chains. Yeah. Do we start this? Yes. Do we got to – do we get to do another one of these? Is yes, Jerusha, you need to come back. <laughs> I will be like a, a permanent – I'll be a permanent character. What do they say? We're like a – 
every <laughs> month yeah you're honestly we'd yes. be happy to have you back every every whenever you are free just drop by type of thing because we know okay. how you <laughs> well there's always been speculation did we encourage the strap game absolutely mm -hmm. because if it's us imagine the other portion that's what i always say to everyone is if it's us and that's a community on youtube that's just this part of the world imagine china like that's the funniest thing and they're like we don't even have them guys and they are like they know what's up they know what they love those girls are on the zhuzh they know so if their opinions are there as well on their own platforms it's like you know yes our voice is really loud and how do they come up with this strap on strap on strap and then move their margins up because of it? Oh, we can move this up to being a $3,000 accessory. This is an SLG, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can do that because you get a gold chain with it. You see what I mean? Like they've, mm -hmm. they've, uh, what's the word? Commod commodity? I oh, know they've capitalized here. Yeah. Capitalized, mm -hmm. right? So how come you bought it then? Did you see it in person or did you buy it online? No, my essay sent me the link and goes, this is coming, do you want it? And I was like, yes. Oh. I think I'm at a point. <laughs> I, I think I'm at a point. I'm going to say this on the luxury live show, so quote me if you want. I think I'm at a point where I am... I, I suppose I'm such like a veteran in it, not in luxury across the board. Obviously, there's a million collectors out there, but publicly I am, I suppose, such a veteran in it that I'm just, I'm a luxury whore. You that can be the name, that can be the name of Jerusha coming on this show, the luxury whore. Should I change the title? <laughs> yes. Just kidding. Just kidding. I, I take anything I'm offered, Kat, of oh, maybe anything. And that's, that's rude because can I share something with you that's the truth? Please. I was going to say it before when I was holding it, but I didn't say it. I will never use that, Kelly. Never. You said that before, I remember. I'll never use it. I'm just saying it live with you now because I will never use it. I hate Epsom. I, I like loathe Why did you Epsom. take it then? I love it and I hate Celia. Why I did you take it? Because I'm a luxury whore. Okay, right. It was, offered, it was offered to me. I have mm. been doing this so long that it was offered to me. My essay, mm. hey, Jerusha, we've just got the new bum, bum bag in. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. It's this big. Do you want it? Yes, I want it. Doesn't make mm. sense, but you, it's tiny. You're six foot and you know, curvy, oh, but I still want it. You know what I mean? And it's not a good thing and no one is really mentally where I am. But do you know what? I'm happy to say it. And I should do a sit-down video saying it because it is the truth and it's, sorry, screaming starting to happen. It is the truth. And I think, I don't think a lot of people are honest in this community anymore. I agree. They say what they want to say to sell themselves get views get sponsorships not even i don't think sponsorships are focused here oh my god i have so many more questions i took i put i really have questions amy seriously questions about sponsorships questions about oh my god because oh Jerusha, so just because I'm the only one controlling this, if you want to go on, let's go on a little bit. No, more. it's not. It's like freaking. That's awesome. fine. Andrew, watch, it's come go. You've got work tomorrow. Oh my god. No, no, no. Tomorrow's Saturday. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right. For yeah, me, yeah. it's Saturday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. It is Saturday. Sorry. I'm I'm already in the future. Um. <laughs> yes, that's why I, I put that here as well to show you what are you gonna do about <laughs> I it? Take up your whole live show are you gonna actually what are you gonna do about the the bum bag are you gonna I'll return it, it since you, you can no I'll just keep it really because 
<laughs> you don't even like it though. I know. I, that's what I mean. A whore is a whore. <laughs> But you know, my, that's mother, my mother heard me. She'd be like, "That is so rude, Teresa." <laughs> it is. I think I am at this stage. Trust me, I'll leave something. I'll leave like my car keys in here. But this is why I, uh, when you said earlier, Jerusha, that uh, you don't think that there's many real, like really honest people on this platform. I agree. Like you can tell the vibe, which is why I feel like because I'm so like I share so honestly including everything that i sold because for whatever reason like unlike you i don't keep everything like if, if something i just don't like about it or if i just need the funds i'll sell it yeah I'll sell then it i'll too. talk about I mean, it and i'll yeah. i'll tell people why just to be helpful i suppose or if some people are just curious but you always get the very negative people saying like oh she's just only buying and selling but no it's not no oh. <laughs> but it's periodical for me. I've had yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's very periodical. It's very that periodical is... for me. So many people are like, oh, you only buy it, you sell it, you unbox, you you do videos and then you sell it. Well, there was times where I needed to fund other things. I turned mm -hmm. around and bought a $15,000 Kelly from the boutique. I turned around and bought a Kelly resale for sixteen dollars and Birkins and <laughs> money and growing trees and I wanted to fund those. Am I sitting in a comfortable position where I haven't really acquired anything of that calibre lately? Those kind of digits, yes. And can I sit on a bum bag because I just want to? Yes. Will I sell it down the track? Maybe. And are there regrets that I sold and why? Yeah, of course. We can't do this without that. And it's like, well, did you sell bags and items that you loved to get things like the Kelly that you'll never use. Yes. <laughs> Am I sitting on it for investment purposes? Half and half. I'm sitting on it for investment purposes, but I'm also sitting on it because I was offered it and I, I like, I love my sales manager more than anything. And it was the experience, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But that is, you know, what you said really struck a chord. Cause I'm like, well, I'm being the honest one here, sharing truth, the truth. Wow. And yet you, really are. you don't you like it. So would you rather that I lie to you? Like, would you rather that I yeah. didn't tell you? Well, yeah. And you, like you come across really gentle about it as well. And I think that that's really honest. Do you know what I mean? Truthfully, you do very gentle about it. I don't think you mean it in a narky kind of way. Like, look I'm telling you the truth like no 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 no. it's just kind of we we get judged so easy and why because of the mm. price tag and it's luxury how can you yeah. afford it and flaunt it to the world you know so I what's just what's the think next question you have on your list oh, oh tackle my. another are one yes yeah, no. good <laughs> people are you here to watch they can come and go or rewatch. Maria, my blue one. Yes. Everyone's <laughs> loving the eye candy, Amy. Oh, my goodness. It is Zanzibar. There oh is my nothing goodness. more unbelievable than blue Zanzibar. It's just so, Okay, you use this one, do you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's weird. I would say I use my pre-loved ones more, but I don't. I mm. use my garden a lot. Mm. I use my garden party a lot. and. Yeah, a lot. and But then obviously the pre-loves are pre-loved. They're in amazing mm -hmm. condition, but it's, do you know what I mean? It's broken in already. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? But this is Zanzibar and this is in, the leather, is it Swift? No, 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 Swift has no grain. This is, oh, oh my God. Evergreen? Yeah, yeah, this is ever. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, this is ever. Okay. Ever, ever color. Yep. Ever color. Okay. Ever color and palladium. And I never thought I was a palladium girl. I always thought I was gold, 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 gold. Because I wear yeah. gold. I don't really wear white. Like if I was going to invest, I only invest in. Oh, I'm big again. Yeah, I, so you're I, so big. Like if you asked me to buy 
white gold from Cartier, I'd say, no, I'm not putting my money into it. I'll buy yellow gold. Like I'm, I'm a yellow gold girl. But in the last, like, oh, this is the love heart embroidery. Pretty. Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? And I'm not a twilly girl either, but I love the twilly on this. See, stuff changes. It it ebbs and flows. You know, mm -hmm. you grow with what you grow with. So in that, saying that, I, I would never have thought I'd put money into palladium. I never thought I would. I was like, when I got off of the gold, um, the Kelly, and someone asked there what colour it was, uh, what um yes why is it that you don't wear it? but you said that you don't like uh epsom as well and you don't like oh my god I, I don't not like it i hate yeah. it you hate it i i actually hate it i can <laughs> no yeah i don't okay. like box because it scratches but i i just epsom scratches me the wrong way it just it makes me itch it's not good for your lifestyle maybe like the way and I, just, I don't like that it's not pliable. I mean, some people hate this. They're like, that looks like an old bag that you get from like, you know. Yeah, I like, really like your Kelly, obviously, because I have a Kelly 25 Celier as well. Is that new? Yeah, mine, yes. You have not seen it? Do you want to see it? Hi. Come and see my, do you want to see my live? Ah, who's showing up? Hi. You're on a live stream. Hi. Hi. Say hi, I'm Zaki. Hi, I'm Zaki. Oh, how are you feeling, Zaki? Oh, my goodness. Is your arm better? I'm feeling okay. It's going to heal oh. very soon. Yeah, one more week. One more week. One more week. Two more weeks, but that can be one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. I told you he was somewhere and would come on in that's funny. where was i yes um if you had a told me palladium is what i would be interested in and if i was offered palladium now like in a birkin i would take it well i would take it anyway because i'm <laughs> But you are the I would take it because I'm really interested in it now, which is a shift I would never have seen coming, especially for these prices. I'd be like, I'm only going to buy gold. But I don't know. I've shifted and like it. There's some girls that hate palladium. Like, they no way. Palladium is um, all the rage right now. You couldn't even get palladium in store if you wanted. It's so yeah, it's popular. So, yeah, and it's really fresh, actually. And I've actually felt myself leaning towards that with Chanel. I've seen Lou, you know, Je suis mm -hmm. Lou. Mm -hmm. We've had her on the live as well. well. Okay, where is she from again? You know what? She's, well, I know she used to live in Mexico, but now she lives in Barcelona. Right, but what's her background? She sounds I like think she's Mexican. Uh, well, okay, I don't know for sure, for and? sure, but she live, she lives in Mexico. She lived in Mexico back then. But what's her accent? She sounds like Swedish or something. It's like sounds Scandinavian, her beautiful accent. I'll ask her next time. I have no okay. idea. It's true. She has like the blonde, blue eyes as well, right? So Yeah, and she's got her accent. It kind of sounds French, but maybe it's Spanish. Anyway, she has some gorgeous lamb with silver hardware. Um flaps and I just I don't know it it hit something in me that I was kind of like oh maybe I'll look into that mm -hmm. do you want to get Marcy to say hi to my YouTube okay go find him okay okay <laughs> Maria currently in Barcelona she's Mexican never would have thought that I swear I never Jen, yes, she's Mexican. I would never have thought that, that it's Spanish. But who, know, who knows? Maybe she has, like, ancestry that's not Mexican, you know what I mean? Like, we don't know that. I, I don't I know if she has. Her accent. Like, to me, your accent, because I don't know if you know you kind of have an accent. Well, I think Canadians What's have my an accent? accent? Well, What's I my think accent? you sound French. Oh, you Okay. <laughs> Are you mocking me? Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi, Massey. Oh my gosh. You guys are on the luxury live show. Hi, I'm going to hold that. Oh. 
Well, I mean, don't know. Okay, okay. Okay. We'll turn it right around. Okay. Is that your favorite? Uh, okay. Oh, Be gentle, okay. gentle. Okay. Oh, <laughs> These are very expensive. Oh, God. <laughs> God. Okay, just not that. Oh, you're putting yeah. it on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Slow. Oh. Oh, you know oh, how to wear it. Let's play, buddy. He knows how to wear it. Oh, my <laughs> God. I mean, that. This is to. What are you doing? No, 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 no. no, no. One is enough. One is enough. No, he was getting my YouTube play button. Um. Oh, look, he even knows how to wear Aww. it, guys. Oh, my goodness. We need to screenshot this. This is so cute. You did. You... Is this your bag? Hi. This is Amy. Say hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh. You guys are so cute. I see you guys in the vlogs all the time. You do? Yeah. Yes. This is my blog life. Um, do you guys want to ask Amy a question? She lives in Canada. Canada. And all of those names on the side are people that are watching you. You. Well, us. You. It's a show. Such you. as Maria, oh, Vivi. oh my hi, goodness, Vivi, hi, look at her little bear, bear, oh no, 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 I know, okay, I'm the bear, okay, maybe, hi, hi, hi. hi. you're so handsome, okay, hi. maybe we, we're going to be done now, Jillian, okay, sure, yeah, I think it's time, I but think thank you so oh. much, Jerusha, oh. for... <laughs> Hang on one second. Okay, just give me one more second with Amy, please. Go can you take me upstairs? No, no, take Zachy upstairs. I need to finish this YouTube video. Go. <laughs> please, please, Mussy, help me. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, you got to go. This eye candy, you guys are there like, oh, my God. Can you make me smaller, Amy, so I can put them back? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I need to put them back because it was horrible. Um, oh my god, what a sh shit show! Go, go to daddy now. Is anyone here? Yeah. <laughs> family life. Oh my, is this family? Especially because you have boys too. Oh, yeah, so I understand. My nephew is crazy, but I adore him, so <laughs> he's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. They've, they've definitely got more energy, but I just want yeah. my girlfriend here with her two girls, and it's definitely it's so different. Um, girls are so different in the sense of wait, <laughs> <laughs> there's so much. Oh, sorry, I just want to show you. Once you get me started, Amy, I told you. If you, you need to come show, back. You just need to come back, Jerusha. Like literally, <laughs> if you put me on my show, just quickly going back to Lou. And silver versus gold. Um, now this is a small, brand new, unused, again, a whore. Why did I get it? Right. I, don't know. I was <laughs> offered it. I bought it. She had one in stock when I went to the boutique and I was just like, sold. I, I, I have no idea why. Gold, small, obviously super sought after right now. Mini, silver. But do you know what I mean? Like I just lose lambs in silver are just like whew, i don't know right now i'm just loving it so is that why why is palladium on a can you like, um i don't know just like any trend right like for a while it was always gold 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 yeah, totally. and then rose gold had a moment as well and then now yeah. it's palladium so i guess it'll be back to gold again very soon right, right. which is totally. good to have a lot of like a bit of everything i feel I, I have yeah. I have a preference for hardware, but I feel like it's more which bag it is and which bag should have which hardware, depending on the leather and the color. Oh, uh, and even the sense. shape of the bag for me, that makes a difference. That so, makes a lot of sense, though. Yeah. A lot but of anyway, sense. we'll wrap it up here. But thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> Let's go. You, I'm sorry it was so, yeah. I didn't get on here fast enough and then it was we can keep going though i'll just quickly say some of the other questions because i feel bad some of the people ask questions um 
You need to come back as well. Oh my God. Yeah. Handbag regrets. See, that's such a good idea. Louisa, handbag regrets. I think that is you such know what, a Jerusha, send me the list of your questions. We'll cover all of them next time. Those yeah. will be the main topics. That yeah. way we are Let like the a screenshot. Yeah. Learn the preferences and... from Hermes. Oh my God. So many. How long have you been in property? Have you had any run-ins or drama with anyone in the luxury community? Ooh, <laughs> juicy. That is juicy. And it's an interesting answer. It is very interesting. Very interesting. Would you go back to a luxury brand if they snub you? Would you still go back? Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. That's a really good question, right? If you have a bad experience with an essay or boutique, would you go back and spend your money? Um, no. Nope. Can you tell us the story of how you have a connection with Drake? <laughs> oh, my God, that is so funny. Oh, my God, these are some crazy questions. I will leave because I've kept you here for so long. Tell <laughs> Cat, I said thank you so much. No worries. Thanks Drew, for reaching out. We loved having you. Honestly, you, you should send me those questions. Like once you get all of them, send yeah. them to me and we'll – arrange for another live stream with you again it'll be the same thing you just come on and we'll i don't know if we'll be able to tackle all of them since you know we discussed for so long for each of them but um like we we'd love to have you back it's well just, thank you so much i'll definitely love two to hours back. is not long enough oh it's not i i it won't be as chaotic i do you guys are there any answers here do you guys like seeing eye candy answer us I think it's cool to show, don't you think? Yeah. Because in sit-down videos, you're showing them whatever, but, I and in, yeah, it's kind of like a mini kind of like. We love <laughs> eye candy, so especially. Yeah. Yeah. Love the bag. Yes. Yes, girl, totally. She's in on it. <laughs> she loves eye candy. Okay, thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you, Jerusha. We'll talk again, and then we'll arrange for another one for sure. <laughs> Okay, guys. Peace. Okay. Bye, Bye, guys. Thank you for Bye. joining us. See no you next worries. week. Bye. Bye. Bye.